I've seen her in dog collar matches. I've seen her in an ambulance match in this very arena. This is going to be something to behold. Isaac better be ready. Now, Amherst, I know how I'm sure I know, I'm sure they go into these match, sort of matches a little bit different than someone like you would, but how yeah. would you go into a doors match? Oh, you see, I don't even know how I would prepare for this. Uh, it seems like a scary situation to be in, so I'm hoping that I would just never have to be in this situation. That's a wise decision, actually. Especially someone with like Sadika. Um, I've seen her and yeah. definitely uh, a scary competitor. Yeah, both of these women do it, will do whatever it takes. Absolutely. And use whatever they can. Yeah, both of these women, they're fighters. Never say die attitude, they'll throw everything they have at you. Throwing a, throwing a kick there. Oh. So Looks Jacob, I'm a little confused on the rules. They can win by a pinfall submission or putting them through a door? I'm not entirely sure. Maybe there was a miscommunication between the competitors. I know specifically that Sadika requested this match. That doesn't surprise me that she did request this match. Because, you know, La Reina de Extrema and all. Seems like something she would typically go for. It definitely does. Trying to bring a hardcore element to BWR's come out and play today. 100%. This is not something that we've seen a whole lot of. VWR, we did have the uh, the Screed fight back in February, which accumulated quite a bit of damage in and of itself. But that this could be right. something else entirely. That's right. I believe that Street Fight had everything but doors. I don't think there was a door. Well, I think that the uh, I think the doors were uh, heavily guarded that night. Okay. Exchanging elbows in the corner. Both of these women hit like Mack trucks. Into the corner. Sadika up. Oh, and down she goes. Into a cover one, two. And it looks like Sadika is trying to fight herself back into this thing. You know, I'm surprised we haven't seen a door yet. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready Actually, to see doors. I'm ready to see doors. With Sadika in there, I figured a door, like, would be the first thing I saw flying. Maybe. And not Sadika herself. You know, I don't, I don't want to put words in anybody's mouth, but maybe this is Sadika trying to prove something, that she doesn't have to win by causing property destruction. Maybe she's trying to show that there's some of that that honorable lucha libre style she there. She shoves a Isaac referee. out of the way. Well, who knows? As no, this oh. this this table doesn't count as a door. No, but no, that, she does oh, have it. Oh. Trash can. Well, whatever. Uh, Whatever theories I had about the sanctity of Lucha Libre oh. are now out the door and you in... You back what you said? I took back what I All said. Right. It's out the door and in that garbage can. 
as Sadika oh, she heads is out. for do the door. To, do we need to remind her what a door is? No. Because I don't think that is. Although she did just go for the front door, Jacob. Well, I don't know oh. what's I don't know what's on her mind most of the time. I don't think you speak Spanish, to be fair, though, so... Un pequeño. Alrighty. There you go. They Isquierda, are heading biblioteca. towards the door. They are... Oh, and there's the... Oh! Well, I mean, technically... Well, they did go through the door. Technically, they went through it. one of them just went through a door. Oh! And someone's head just went into a table. And now they are back over in our merch Kill merchandise it. area. Kill killing my merch right now. Oh. So that's a little sad. We're gonna for have to me. restock your eight by tens. I think so. What a birthday present! For you might me. need to get reimbursed for some. I think so. If there's some damage to them. At least there's not any blood going on oh, right no. now. Oh no! Oh no! Oh. Oh. We're gonna have to replace the, the ramp, ramp for the fifteenth time. <laughs> oh. nope. I laugh because it's true. <laughs> Oh, oh that, that ramp had a family. That ramp has kids. It needs this job. That ramp was two days away from retirement. So sad. So sad. A tragedy, really. <laughs> you know, I'm not sure that the rules were properly explained to either of these women. Oh, oh. Or indeed that there are any there is, rules. There is uh, now glass on the ground. I'm just again saying. Again, going for the trash can a third time. Be careful, everybody. Things everywhere. Everyone who bought a front row ticket is now questioning their own sanity. As they should, truly. Any Anybody As who buys a front row ticket to any show oh. Sonic guys on should question their sanity absolutely. all the time. Absolutely, absolutely. I tell you what, I was not expecting this kind of carnage. I was expecting an entirely different kind of carnage, but I wasn't expecting yeah. this carnage. I wasn't expecting bro a broken beer bottle. I was sure. expecting more doors, personally. Yeah. Where are the doors? Oh. The only door I've seen is the front door. Well, it looks Wait. like... Oh, and she goes for oh, a door. there's a door. Ask and ye shall receive. We've got a door. Sadika with door in hand. Right up against the ring. Which, and now she's got a couple of chairs, and I'm not sure that Sadika has an engineering degree, but I don't think she needs one for something like this. That door has been set, and things now are about to get really dangerous. As Going for the second door. Going for the second door. Oh! Oh! Now, if the door goes through somebody, that doesn't end the match. Okay. We're getting a little bit of clarity on the rules here. That's what we need. That's what we needed. I'm just... I think I think our competitors also need that clarity. <laughs> Action going back into the ring. And Much the, to the relief of this crowd here today. I would imagine so. And now that door is set up in a very precarious position inside the ring. But we do still have this makeshift table on the outside. And, oh, and here they go. Oh, and here it comes. Somebody's about... Somebody is about to go through a door going back and forth on the apron. Oh! Always a dangerous game. Oh no, oh, oh no. Uh -oh. This is gonna be bad. Oh! oh! Technically, technically both women just went through a door. Isaac checking on him. I think Isaac is at a loss for how to proceed. Obviously, nobody can be declared a winner because they both went through at the same time. So this thing's gonna go on until that other door gets broken. That is right, and this is the time that pro wrestling needs the automatic replay and photo finish that we can go back and look and see you know, who went, who went through it first? But 
Pro Wrestling doesn't have that, and there are no timeouts. So we're going to keep going. We're going to keep going until we have a decisive victor. As these women brawl on the inside now. Sadika trying to get this crowd behind her and asking for assistance and oh. getting a chair into the ring. And another chair. It looks like Sadika is going to uh, is going to go to the well again and hope it works out better this time around. Inside the ring. Well, sometimes a change of scenery is all you need to uh, spice up the relationship. Of course. There's that door precariously perched. Making another table. Moving it closer to that corner, also terrifying. Very terrifying. Oh. Ooh. As Sadika. Munyeka laid out on that on that door right now. Sadika is going to go up. Oh. oh. Munyeka able to get back to her feet. Going to meet her there. And, oh no. Oh, we're going up to the top. No. We're about to, high we're risk. About to see some carnage. Oh. High risk because the doors match isn't risky enough. No, we we're now going up to the top. Oh no, oh. no, no, no! Oh. Spanish fly through the tape! Door, one, two, three. For good measure, Big fight feel here tonight for the VWR title. So much history between these two women. Easily the best two women's wrestlers in Texas, so this will be an incredible match for sure. And both of these women previously held the RWR Vixens Championship. A lot of history in that ring as Isaac holds that VWR title up high the first official defense of the VWR title. Rachel Rose taking it after that gauntlet match that she was not originally scheduled for, by the way. That's right, Isaac, let's go. You heard the man, Rachel. What is going through the mind of the queen? I'm with this crowd. I know you are. Crowd very easily behind high on. Clearly. As they should be. High on. I and can't hear myself boo. over the booze. A bigger boo <laughs> for Rachel Rose. As I was trying to say before I was drowned out by Rachel's booze, high on. Probably the most respected female wrestler in the state of Texas for a reason. Absolutely. She went off, made a name for herself in Chicago, became a shimmer champion, wrestled overseas, and now she's back trying to reclaim what was rightfully hers as they lock up center of the ring. As you said, the shimmer champion, I believe she was the first one to defend that title overseas. You may be correct in that, Emily. I think I remember seeing that. Hyon accomplished does not, do, does not do justice to what her career has been. As you said, Shimmer champion, former RWR Vixens champion, Reality of Wrestling Diamonds Division champion, Sabotage Wrestling champion. Anywhere you go, the word champion follows Hyon around. That is right. That's what earned her that Queen of Texas moniker before she went to Chicago. And if you look at that, so smooth and effortless are the counters on the part of Hyon. Rachel able to counter. 
As we said, these two women know each other just excruciatingly well. Ion shoots her off. Up and over Leapfrog. Ducks the clothesline. And the drop kick. Sends Rachel reeling into the corner. Splash in the corner from high on. Scoop slam plants her right into the cover. And a two count early in the contest. And Rachel rolling to the outside. Creating some separation, calling for a timeout. Guess what, there's no timeouts, Rachel. High on oh. launching herself at Rachel on the outside. And rolling Rachel back into the ring. High on would love nothing more than to walk out of here as the VWR champion, but that's not gonna happen if Rachel's on the outside. And Rachel rode back to the other side. You know, no one's ever gonna say that Rachel isn't crafty or that she doesn't know how to walk away with a win. I will admit that. I will admit that there are a few people with more ring intelligence than Rachel Rose. I just don't care for her personally. As she has grabbed, she's grabbed the title and she's gonna. She's saying she doesn't need this, she's leaving. Rachel, she's walking out. Rachel's walking out. And Isaac is counting the hell. Rachel, come on, you're better than this. Going for champion's advantage. Oh. Isaac, Isaac, Isaac says ring the bell, but oh, but. Rachel, Rachel, turn around. Turn around, turn around, Queen. Turn around, Rachel. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Rachel. Skip the pleasantries, let's go. I made my match. I have something for you. No. Give me, give me my payday, bro. I want to tell you something. First off, that's not how this is going to go down. I just did. She won the title. I'm done. Oh, it's over. We aren't finished. What are you doing? That's mine. That's what I. Don't, don't touch this. This match will restart. This is not how VWR is going to be represented. playing field. Rachel Rose and High On is going to continue. No count outs. No easy road for Rachel Rose here tonight. No disqualification and most importantly no champion's advantage. And Rachel looks very hesitant to get back in that ring. Oh! Hyon dragging her back into that ring, whether she wants to or not, and now we've got a fight on our hands. A fight for the VWR Championship. Ooh, and Rachel. 
Mitchell. High on, on the outside now. You know, one thing you have to understand in this situation is Rachel is incredibly dangerous whenever you take the leash off. All you have to do is look back to February in the street fight against Hollywood Haley James. That is right, the Queen Victorious in that match left a trail of destruction all through World Gym Arena. And now, high on. Backdrop. Rachel's back connecting with the side of that ring and now high on returning. High on getting a taste of the ring herself there, courtesy of Rachel Rose. Having a seat in the front row. Lays in that super kick. This is a very personal fight between these two. Rachel oh. able to block herself from eating the full force of that ring post. The front row continuously getting involved oh. in these matchups here tonight. And Rachel making sure that fan of the year Colton over there has a front row seat to see the dismantling, as it were, of one of his favorite wrestlers. Getting a Colton chant here tonight, like I said, fan of the year. And wearing a high on shirt today, actually as Hyon tries to take control back on the outside. But this is a brawl at this point. As we said, Hyon, a very accomplished wrestler, has been all over the world. High fives from the crowd. But this is not necessarily a wrestling match as much as it is just a fight. There's a bar down the road that has seen less physical contests at 1.30 a.m. as Rachel rolls her into the ring and goes for the cover. One, two, kick out from high on. As we said earlier, both of these women know each other so incredibly well. I think this is what this, this, is what this contest needed in order to get a decisive victor. Well, I think if you look at the faces of both these women, both of them want to work out some frustration here tonight. There's a lot of unfinished business between these two as high on with a running leap. Bowls over Rachel Rose. And that is right, they may have some layaway receipts for each other. Yeah, sometimes you put that down payment down and come back later to pay off the remainder. High on has Rachel up and plants her in the center of that ring. Standing leg drop into a cover, one, two. Rachel with the kick out. Amherst, you've been a champion in different promotions before. What does this moment feel like when you're in the middle of a fight for a championship? What is going through your mind at this very moment? Um, it's crazy. You, you really just want to put everything Rachel that you have. Rachel went for the rope, but this is no disqualification. There is no rope break. Oh, nobody home for high on. And there's the spear. I think both women are going to put every single thing that they have into this match, especially with it being no disqualification. You know high on would love to win this thing clean. I don't think Rachel gives a damn. 
I think Ra I think Rachel would be happy just to walk out with that belt. As we saw, she was willing to walk out of here, take the L. As long as that gold's around her waist, she doesn't really care. Yeah, that's all, that's all that matters to her is that gold. That is right. Currently the holder of five championship titles. Yeah, Rachel Rose, a belt collector of sorts. No one can deny that she does have an, ex an extensive collection of championship titles. But I think Hyon is going to come back and, and you know, regain her title of Queen of Texas. It's hard, to, it's hard to see how she couldn't. I've watched her progress overseas and since coming back to Texas. If there's anybody who could reclaim the title Queen of Texas, it would be Hyon. That is right. And like we said uh, earlier, Amaris, you recently had a match with Rachel for one of those five titles. Uh, she, what, what is it like when she has a title on the line, when she is that determined to win? Um, I think it, it, it means a little extra because she is really such a good competitor and you can tell that those titles mean so much to her. So you really got to put every single thing that you have into a match like that. Stiff drop kick in the corner. She is just not an easy one to beat. No, it's almost impossible. 100%. It's almost impossible to put Rachel Rose away whenever there's a title on the line. Because as we've seen, she'll do anything. But this crowd would love to see nothing more tonight than to see Hyon dethrone Rachel Rose as Rachel Rose cues up that super kick in the corner. Well scouted, high on, able to duck it. There's that scouting that we know, the two of them know so well. Both of these women, as you said, Emily, very familiar with one another, faced each other a number of times. Recently had a match against each other. Mania Week. CT knee! Oh. That could be it. And she plants her right in the middle of the ring. One, two. And somehow Rachel able to kick out. Like I said, they had that match for the Reality of Wrestling Diamonds Championship Mania Weekend at DFW All Pro Women's Wrestling. And now this is the second title that Hyon's trying to take. I'm sure the queen well, feels feel some type of way about that. Well, you know, Hyon has to feel very strongly about this match as well. As she's got her up. Oh, oh. Rachel. Rachel almost able to steal the victory. And Hyon right into the super kick. But as I was saying, these two have faced off in this building. For New Texas Pro Wrestling, Hyon lost the New Texas Pro Championship to Rachel Rose in this building. Granted, it was another situation where Rachel probably shouldn't have been in that position. As she goes for a cover, one, two. Hyon powers out. As I said, Rachel finds herself in these positions where a championship is within her grasp. Does she earn it? Maybe not, but whenever she has that title belt within her sight, she does anything that she possibly can to get it around her waist. That is right, and I'm sure that Hyon just has a little bit extra determination than normal because of what happened at New Texas Pro with that championship title. She had that. She had that for about 10 seconds, 15, something, I wasn't Something here. like that, Hyon won that title in a hard fought battle with uh, none other than Roxy, now better known perhaps as Roxanne Perez at NXT. Rachel Rose cashed in to get a championship opportunity. And now- Rachel with the chair. Rachel's got a chair. Ring. We know that this doesn't always work out well, <laughs> but it's a no disqualification situation. Oh, I unblocking it. Fighting over that chair, these two women. These women fighting over that chair like it's the last toaster on Black Friday. And Rachel eating some blows from high on.
this crowd behind Hyon wants to see some violence. That's we right, know. calling for Rachel to use that chair before they fought over it. And we, now Hyon has it in hand as well. Well, we know Hyon capable of extreme violence if she wants to. The crowd chanting, do it. Rachel begging it off. Rachel trying to plead her case with Hyon to not use that chair. And Hyon, her good nature got the better of her. Hyon learning from Tainted Love. Hollywood pulled the same trick. Oh! oh! Rachel bounced back off that chair. Hyon's got her up oh! onto the chair. This could be it. Goes for the cover. One, two, three. We have a new champion. I cannot believe it. Hyon came back to Texas. We have a new VWR champion. But this crowd divided to say the least. You got two fan favorites in there and it's hard to choose who's gonna walk out of here as the new contender to the Genesis Championship. Sid Marr is chomping at the bit, ready to get this contest going. Yeah, Sid is not, Sid's not one for the slow start. The crowd here chanting, Gigi is money. And they might be right. Wherever Gigi goes, she seems to uh, excite the crowd and... Makes an impact for sure. Definitely. But Sid, as we said, showing off a whole new attitude as of late, unmasking, coming in here, showing who she is. I think Sid has like tons of knowledge and uh, so it, it's an interesting matchup for sure. Definitely. You know, Gigi, a relative newcomer, but still very impressive. Very but impressive. Sid. Sid, definitely the veteran in this match. Absolutely. But they have seen each other quite a number of times. I'm sure that Gigi has picked up on some of Sid's tricks. I think they're both knowing what to expect of each other. Yeah, you scout each other, you plan, you, pre you prepare. And as with our previous contest, both of these women know exactly what's on the line. Come next month, either of these women could be walking out with VWR Gold, that Genesis Championship, the championship that represents the growth of this company. The next rising star, could Sid, that be Sid, Sid? already getting out of the ring. Well, you talked about Sid being the veteran, knowing when to take a breather. Yep. That is part of it. To create that separation, reevaluate her game plan. Yep. Gigi rolled up there by Sid. If you look at the way these two are circling each other, it looks like they're just waiting for an opportunity. And there you go, Gigi with a roll up. One, two. Rolls out of it. And now another. One. Both women trying to get this over with quick. They want a shot at that Genesis title. And they're trying to do so in a way that doesn't put themselves through too much punishment. As we know, these women will be competing for that Genesis championship next month. We know 30 days isn't a long time if your body has taken a beating. You know, these women are going to try to get in, get out, and get on with their lives so they can prepare for that title shot. Another roll up. Another roll -up. These two showing and showcasing a classic wrestling matchup. They don't want to turn this thing into a fight if they don't have to. Off 
the ropes as Gigi slides, takes Sid down. Sid looks to be favoring that knee. Referee Isaac checking on her. Isaac trying to make sure that Sid can continue. We know Sid has had some trouble with that knee in the past. Gigi giving her room. Gigi helping her get out of the ring. And it looks like Sid is going to have to bow out. What? Oh! What the hell? What the hell? Of all the dirty, underhanded, ridiculous tricks to play. Sid using that sympathy to get exactly what she wants. And now, launching Gigi into the front into the row. Crowd. I said Sid had a whole new attitude, but I did not expect this here tonight. And now right. Sid. She took advantage of Gigi's kindness, help, trying to help her out of the ring. You know, the, you make jokes about, you know, the Can a Canadian can do nothing wrong and they'll still apologize. Gigi, Over Gigi there. got duped. And now Sid is just wreaking the benefits of a kind heart. And now beating her down all over Houston Premier Arena. Over Gigi's merch, I believe. There is an 8x10. That, that is right. I did see an 8x10 in Sid's hand. And now Sid bringing it back to the ring. The fans not happy at all with what Sid is pulling here tonight. Using cheap right. ways to get exactly what she wants, and that is a title opportunity. We talked We talked about how, when are you willing to break the rules? When are you willing to bend the rules in order to get what you want? When a title opportunity is on the line, sometimes you do things that you normally wouldn't expect, but I never would have seen this coming out of Sid. That's right, you said earlier this crowd was divided. They don't sound very divided anymore. Firmly behind Gigi Ray here tonight. As Gigi, Face plants into that second turnbuckle. And now pressing that foot down on the chest of Gigi Ray. The fans trying to will Gigi back into this thing. Taking every bit of that five count. And there, a vicious clothesline in the corner. I said these two didn't want to turn it into a fight, but it became a fight very quickly as Sid lands that neck breaker. Gets a two count out of it. The fans chanting for Gigi and Sid almost laughing it off. Now Gigi, running elbow in the corner. Tries to whip Sid to the opposite side. Sid counters. Runs into an elbow to the midsection. Gigi trying to fight her way back into this thing. Through the ropes. Driving a shoulder into the midsection. Up and over, off the ropes. Modified swinging neck breaker into a cover. One, two. And Sid is kicking out. She knows what's at stake here. Yeah, Sid trying to be the devious, underhanded fighter in this match. But Gigi Ray is all heart. There's that. 
was that modified sit-out DDT that has crushed the face of many an opponent. And now Sid trying to bring this thing back down to earth. Got that chin lock applied. And this crowd trying to will Gigi on. Gigi. To fight out of that. Gigi turning herself into the obvious fan favorite in this contest. You said both of these women fan favorites in this building. And you know, before Sid pulled what she pulled, it's hard not to root for her. She's been through so much and she showcased so much on her rise up the card. She definitely deserves this contendership match as she steps through modified STF. Gonna try to get Gigi to tap out here. Gigi crawling her way to that bottom rope. She's got to make it to that bottom rope if she wants any chance of getting out of this thing. That torque, that'll tear a ligament. That'll leave permanent damage. Almost, almost at the rope. And it oh, feels and like a mile, it. but she made it. But Sid is not breaking that, breaking that hold until the absolute last second, taking all of the referee's five count. And you really never know if Sid will try and pull something else to get that win. I wouldn't put anything past her at this point. There's nothing I wouldn't imagine Sid would do at this point as she takes a kick to the side of the head. Oh, Gigi, Gigi with a diving drop back. kick. Distance and elevation. And now if Gigi can get back to her feet, it's a whole new ball game. I think still very a divided crowd. Well, some people are loyal. I wouldn't say uh, Sid's a very loyal person given what we've just seen, but... But her fans definitely are. But her fans definitely are, as Gigi, those judo hip tosses, maintaining control off the ropes. Gigi's fired up. Picks her up, plants her into the cover. One, two, and Sid kicked out. That's the resilience of Sid Mars right there. You can say whatever you want about her personality, but whenever she steps between those ropes, it's not going to be an easy fight. That is right. And both these women, as we've said before, they know each other so well. They have so many things out of As you see, there's the roll up. And Sid almost able to steal one right there. And now Sid into the cover. One, two. Very, very close call right there. Yeah, Sid trying to pull everything out of her bag of tricks. And Sid Gee. getting a little frustrated. Well, like I said, she's done everything that she can at this point. It's just a matter of what can she actually do to put this thing away. Oh, and roll up one, two. Gigi trying to steal one there. Step up in Zagiri. Knocks Sid down. But both women are dazed at this point. Gigi saying she wants to end this thing now. Ascends to the top. Gigi going to the high rent district, gonna try something high risk. One, two, three, off the top rope. Last time we saw Super Oprah was at Rise of the Vixens 2. So it's been a little while. It'll be interesting to see what we can expect out of Super Oprah here tonight. You check me? You want to check me first? Check my first. Okay. I'll first. Super Oprah seeming to take offense to Isaac trying to do his job. Little flourish by Phoebe. 
Amaris, you know a little bit about pageantry. I do, I do. Uh, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Trying to make sure Isaac checks thoroughly. Uh, Super Oprah definitely giving us a show. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> And that one just cost us some hazard pay for referee Isaac. And that was a show. Oh, oh. Wow. Y'all going to have to pay Isaac a little more yeah. for these types of matches. Come on now. Isaac is really getting abused here, and the match hasn't even started. We haven't even had this a bell This is the beginning ring. of the show. We got a whole show to go. Ooh. And there is the bell. This should definitely be a show, ladies and gentlemen. You don't get anything less when you get Super Oprah in the ring. Super Oprah getting this crowd hyped up. You know, it's not often that I'm at a loss for words behind a commentary microphone, but Super Oprah just tends to have that effect as they go into a lockup. And Super Oprah trying to ragdoll Phoebe. Oh, Phoebe trying to do the same. I'm not sure that'll work out for her. Well, you have to wonder what kind of... What kind of strategy would even be effective against someone like Super Oprah? Like, I mean, I don't have the mind for... I'm not a ring general in any way, shape, or form. Uh, Amorous, what, what do you do when faced with an opponent like Super Oprah? What goes through your mind? Um, it's kind of scary. I've been in a couple of matches where uh, my opponent was way bigger than me, and I just tried my best, and I really took a beating. So, I mean, just got to do whatever works, you know? And I think that's exactly what Phoebe knows, is that she's just got to do whatever works. It's just finding Super whatever works. Oprah wor calling for a test of strength. Oh. A test of strength and also uh, just an agility exercise on the part of Phoebe. So let's check that vertical leap. Impressive. I think uh, Phoebe's been practicing her box jumps. She's a good athlete. She's definitely doing her work in the gym. Oh, Phoebe, definitely a top-tier athlete. Spoke to her a little bit before the show, and she's been training in professional-style boxing. Her cardio is better than it's ever been. We'll see if that helps her out against Super Oprah. Oh, wow. Burying Phoebe's face into her chest. Very disrespectful of Super Oprah to do. Very well, funny, but very disrespectful. Uh, of course, of course. True. Well, Super Oprah gets in that ring, and you have to wonder, is there anybody who can play better mind games than Super Oprah? The answer seems to be no. That's true. Stop talking! Oh, little aggression from Phoebe. Might be the smart move here. Oh, sending Super Oprah outside the ring. Phoebe using Super Oprah's own momentum against her here. Goes back to what Amherst was saying, doing what works, looking yeah. for an opening. You've got to figure out how to, how to beat him. Anything small that you can figure out. Anything to win. Yep. You know, whether it's, a, uh, whether it's a wrestling match or a beauty pageant, you just do what you've got to do. That's true. Reversal after reversal here. Oh. oh! And that's solid steel connecting with flesh and bone. That might have moved the ring a little bit. Well, we're definitely going to have to plan an intermission on this show to move that thing back into place. As Phoebe looks to be... I don't want to say taking control, but she goes for a cover. 
gets a two count on Super Oprah. Now the question is, can she keep it up? As she tries to wrench those arms right out of place. I think she's just slowly, slowly wearing her down, and that's, that's what works. Yeah, you can't expect to chop down a tree in one strike every single time. Sometimes it's the thousand cuts that bleeds the most as Phoebe lays in some strikes. I think if she can keep her down, uh, she has a good chance of winning. And there you go. Once again, into a cover. She can't let... You can't let desperation and frustration set in, though. I can see it on her face. A little bit of a hip check from Phoebe. That'll give you a whiplash. That is right. And now, once again, going for a submission. Amherst, you said you've been in the ring with larger, stronger opponents. Whenever you're in the ring with someone who's, you know, got that definite size advantage, is it the first thing that goes through your mind thinking, you know, they're bigger than me, I'm smaller, I don't have that weight advantage? Is it smarter to go for a submission rather than trying to apply your own weight for a pin? Is that something that runs through your head when you're in a match like this? Oh, definitely. If you can just, like, you know, hook them any way you can, it definitely makes more sense, and it's easier than to just get them down for a pin. Well, we talk about momentum, you talk about using the velocity of your opponent against them. Phoebe is definitely learning as this match goes on that Super Oprah is going to go full bore and she can take advantage of that as she lays in. One hell of a chop and another. And now those strikes. Phoebe really impressing here. Phoebe's definitely playing the right game, for sure. Going for the cover. One, two, and Super Oprah kicks out. Again, a definite size advantage on the part of Super Oprah is gonna make Phoebe work harder for that victory. As I said, this is the first time we've seen uh, Phoebe come to VWR, returning to Texas. We, I'm very familiar with Phoebe's work as a tag team specialist, so this is one of the first few times I've seen her working in singles action, and what... Oh! oh Pop, what an exhibition out. as she is planted! Center of the ring, Isaac wisely checking on Phoebe. Oh! oh. And the fans getting some very special one-of-a-kind souvenirs. Super Oprah means business now. Oh. Super Oprah looking to cave in a chest with that massive chop. Oh no. Oh no. Phoebe in a very precarious position. Oh no. Super Oprah Talked going about to the those hip attacks earlier given causing whiplash. Well, Super Oprah knows and has her bag of tricks that she'll go to regularly and now not even a very confident cover. That's exactly how Super Oprah views this match against Phoebe. And now locking in, cinching in. Trying to drive the air out of the diaphragm of Phoebe there. And a smart move, like you said, Phoebe has been working on her cardio. You can't, you can't breathe, you can't wrestle. That's true. Can't do a whole lot of anything if you can't breathe. That's true. And Super Oprah, for as much fun and as much as she brings the shenanigans to that ring, she is also very smart whenever she steps between those ropes. Knows exactly what she needs to do with every competitor. Oh. As Phoebe, Phoebe almost snuck out a victory there, able to roll back and get Super Oprah's 
shoulders to the mat. Yeah, tried a wise decision, force a uh, pinning predicament, forcing that break. Ooh. I don't know what a wise decision that slap was, and now we're in an exchange of blows. Phoebe down to one knee. She's staggered. Phoebe working Super Oprah into the corner. And now Phoebe taken down with a chop. Super Oprah sometimes hits harder than tequila at 2 a.m. And Phoebe understands that now. Super Oprah looking to go use the ropes. Could be going for that Oprah bomb. Phoebe wisely moving out of the way. Now Phoebe attacking the arm. Magnificent maneuver there. Into the cover. One, two, three. And Phoebe's pulled out the win. I cannot believe it. Risk over there. They are both making their ladies' night out debut tonight, presented on the Title Match Network. Now, if you're a historian like old Dirty Mike is, these two ladies actually wrestled on a rooftop in a row. Oh, she threw, she threw the windbreaker. She threw. Hey, let me get that. Check for money. Check her for money. Uh oh, Brittany. Oh, oh, she's throwing spicy strikes. But again, these two ladies met on the rooftop in another company and they just started pouring rain on these women and they just kept going. And speaking of keep going, she's gonna keep throwing Miss Angelica Risk. Ooh, just ate a hip toss. Now, I'm gonna tell you right now, I gotta be a little lenient because them hips I can toss. But I'm not, that's not me. That's not me. She's got a nice arm bar right there, does Miss Brittany J. Yeah, that's what I said. Arm bar. Boom, she's got a high and tight with Miss Angelica. She comes up to her feet. She might be four foot three, but she's spicy, so she can get you. It's gonna be okay. See, she got to the rope side. Oh, that was smart. Very smart veteran-like maneuver right there for Miss Angelica. Dare I say she took a risk. Thanks, Bob. Oh man, she gets right back in there. Very smart, staying right on her. Uh-oh. Oh, hard buckle right there. Girl, what your name is? Oh, Lord. There she goes. Oh, Lord. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm about to put a ring on it. There she goes. She threw it back in the corner. Miss Jay, she don't play that. She don't need to take that. She needs to fight back. She, she just got twerked on and worked on. <laughs> Big time suplex right there. Talk about fun and games all you want. She is very accomplished as a wrestler. Say what you want. She is very accomplished. Oh, that's not good. She is favoring that back. <laughs> it's just funny to say. She's favoring that back. I'm sorry. We're live now. Big, oh, big kicks kicking right to the stage. Watch those lights. Hey, Tracy, they hit the lights. No, I was playing. Back in the ring. Angelica, right. Oh, to the, to the banister. See, a lot of people here don't know what that is. That's a banister. Use a banister to walk down, hold yourself. And that's, that's a sharp edge. That's a sharp edge right there. She's laughing at it. Oh, I love when somebody get hurt and they laugh. Oh, Lord. Girls tax season. Huh? She got it right there. Big strike. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, there we go. Let's go. Oh, she got caught up in the game. Oh. Took that guardrail right to the top of the dome. Look at the veteran Werethal with Angelica Risk right there. Breaking the count. Referee has a start over. <laughs> Referee babyface. Oh, Lord. Hello. I got to tame myself out here. I'm in short shorts, y'all. Y'all need to stop. Y'all got this lady out here for a while. She's got to be a Pisces. She's wild out here. Angelica Risk ain't playing. She's talking smack. She's beating up Brittany J. She's taking control. Oh, gosh. She put her in the guard. What? How's she still doing? 
Referee up to a count of four. Oh, big time chop. Referee to a count of five. Count of five. The veteran Werethal, Miss Angelica Risk, right there. She is owning the room tonight. Big time strike, brings her back over. Brittany James has not really had any offense. She needs to get some moves stirring again. This is not the debut she wanted. Just banging her head against the ground. Bang your head. Remember that song? The 80s. Man alive, Miss Brittany J. She's got to get a ring. We're up to a count of five. Six. Six. Ah. She said, hold up, wait a minute. Let me put some hits in it. And Jeff Chris on the floor again. What is she going to do? Oh, that lower back to the guardrail. Oh, she's fired up. Brittany J's fired up. Yeah. Hit her harder. I bet you won't hit her harder. I bet you won't smack her harder. Brittany Jade is upset. She is angry. She is just now getting some offense. She's just now getting some momentum. You can tell that head still rock for that hard buckle. Ooh, big strike. Right across the shoulder. Both these ladies have something to prove. This is both their debuts tonight, Ladies Night Out, right here. Presented by Title Match Network. Let's go. We got this. I think she might be baiting her in. I don't know. Like Angelica was trying to. Yo! There it was. Oh, that might have fired her up right there. She's upset. Big time. What she got? What she, what she got going on? Taking her arm through the guardrail there. Ow! Ah! Ah! That's definitely got to hurt right there. That's metal on bone right there. And flesh doesn't feel good. Come on. I think she just awoke in a very dangerous side in this particular Oh, man! Do we got a short arm scissors through the guardrail? Yes! With the bridge! With the bridge! That was beautiful. You're not going to see that later. That was right there right now. That was dope. She put her in a short arm scissors through the guardrail. Little Guido would be proud. Oh, she's mad. She yelled at that old man. Hey, don't take a risk for her, bro. It's in the name. Yeah. Brittany J's got to stay on her. Uh-oh, nice duck. Big time side, not rushing, leg sweep. Oh, cover. That was a good cover. She had a lot of body on body, and she hooked the leg. That's a good cover right there. Y'all got me sweating, man. I'm out here sweating, doing color and commentary, boy. So that nice reversal right there, Miss Wrist. She threw a knee right to the Oh, nice quick neck breaker right there. Quick cover, body on body. Oh, two and a half. That's that fighting spirit, Miss Brittany Jade. She don't play. She's got to get some momentum. She's got to find something. She's got to capitalize on a mistake. Uh oh, speaking of capitalization right there. I ain't talking about punctual. Uh oh, she's got her up, maybe. Oh, counter. That's what happens when you're three foot six. Oh, inside cradle. One, two, three. Oh. She stole that. She took a risk and it paid off. New winner of the match, Angelica Risk. Oh, Angelica. Yowza. That's a big win, but hey, no way. Let's not discredit uh, Brittany J. She put up a lot of fights. She hung in there. We have a triple threat match right here. And I do believe these are a lot of up and coming female wrestlers. I'm very excited to see what they have. Oh, you see the Mia Rose say she ain't got nothing. Jenny Stone, she doesn't have to be there. Claire, Claire, look at her. Ring the sale. Let's go, ladies. And here we go right now. TitleMatchNetwork.com, baby. We got ladies lined out. Oh, big kick for Claire. She ain't playing. Oh, girl, baby, quicker. Uh oh. Oh, that's right. Double kicks in the gut, double shoot off. Oh, big punch and a back elbow look like. What do you do to the fighter? Well, you fight her and you get the fighter out. Boom. Very smart right here. 
Veteran-like maneuvers by the two youngsters in the game. I like this. Miss Amir and Miss Jay Snow. Uh-oh. A big hip block, hip reverse, maybe into a pin. Quick cover. One, two. Uh-oh. Talk about live your life. Hey. We all pay for chases at the end of the day. I have been wanting to see a lot of work out of Miss Jada Stone. This is my first time seeing her. I'm very impressed. Amira Rose with a beautiful front drop kick cover. Beautiful cover right there. There you go. Count of two. Flair. Oh, there she goes. She makes one strike and she will make you pay for it. Oh. Strike. Oh. Counter within a counter. Cover one. Oh, nice wherewithal from Jada Stone to go for that quick roll up. A duck, a bridge. Oh. Very nice athleticism right there from Jay Stone. But hey, again, if you get busted up on, you ain't gonna be bridging nothing. And Clara ain't playing. She from Santa Clara and she won't play. Wait a minute! What is this? The divine one! What? What is it? Wait! What is going on, Mr. Olivia Divine? Uh-oh, this is what you gotta do right here. Oh, that ain't uh-oh. She knew. She knew she messed up. Ooh, that's one gone. So yeah, this is obvious. Yeah, we don't keep ringing. Oh, big slam right there. Yeah, we need to come on. We gotta get her out of here. What's going on? She's destroying everybody. Ring that bell louder, guys. Good three. Holy smokes, get her out of here. What's happening with all this mess? She just stopped. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we got a fighter right here. We got somebody who doesn't care if you're a fighter or not. Look at the face she's making. She might, she might eat her up. Referee just stand and doesn't know what to do. I would What? There's cohesion? There's cohesion? What? We got Claire, we got Olivia, they're in cahoots. That's right, we all simps around here. I'll play a symphony for you. No, for real though, I will, I will. Simp. Okay, so we got a big match right here. Both these ladies making their debut. Both these ladies from our sister promotion and Battle Club Pro out of New York, New Jersey. So these ladies right here are gonna let us know in the Carolinas what it's all about. And here we go, there's the bell. Cosmic JC Storm. Big collar and elbow right there. I do believe JC Storm. Obviously, because her tights don't say cosmic, so there's that. <laughs> Got some uh, arm ringer reversals right there. Miss Lax in the play. Oh, nice flip on the ropes right there from JC Storm. Snatches that head. Nice headlock right there. Buddy, I love that, okay? Oh my God. Pulling the hair right there. Referee just kind of like, hey, stop doing that. Referee just like, hey, stop doing that because I'm the authority. It's okay. Look at them. It's okay. Easy come, easy pay. It's Dre Day. Boom. Nice headlock right there. She gets out of it. Cosmic, man. A cosmic counter right there. Oh. I'm sorry. I tried. I'm trying. I'm trying. Hey, nice. Again with a cosmic counter right there. She ain't playing. She got green hair because she bought her green backs. And that's money. Oh, nice side headlock takeover right there for JC Storm. And this is a fun one right here. I, I haven't seen these ladies perform. This is my first time watching them. Very impressed again with our sister promotion, Battle Club Pro out in New York, New Jersey on TitleMatchNetwork.com. We appreciate all the fans watching with us. Hey, sounds like I know what I'm doing, right? Because I'm good at my damn job. We got a quick cut. Oh, no, we got a headlock. We got a headlock right there. And we just gonna chill. We gonna marinate. She's building up a storm. That's what we're doing. That's what she does. JC Storm, Cosmic about the. she's like, hey girl, get off me. Big drop, oh, she saw that coming a mile away. Hey girl, that's the reminisce right there of Junkyard Dog. That's one of my favorite things to watch this kid. Junkyard Dog, you jump right over there. He either headbutt you or he headlock you. One of my favorite things ever. That's just me, that's just where I'm coming from. 
JC Storm right here. She ain't playing. Cosmic rushing her to the back buckle right here. Looking for a clean break. One. She might be looking for some cosmic opportunities to take advantage. Oh, forearm right to the top of the forehead. Good grief. I ain't trying to fight that girl. Excuse me, I ain't trying to fight that woman. JC Storm moves. Oh my gosh! I love that. She just grabbed the head, side headlock takeover. Listen to me. Love that. Right in the center of the ring. JC Storm obviously has a wherewithal and knows her ring position. She looks like she's a ring general. Cosmic, she looks like she's just gonna cheat. She's just gonna obviously she's gonna cheat. Try to steal this win. Big strike right there from Cosmic. No. Oh, crossbody right there. JC Storm a quick cover. Hey! Two and three fourths. We got a light golf clap. Cosmic lifting her up by her head. No, excuse me. That was JC Storm. Excuse me. Pardon me. Cosmic getting lifted. Oh, nice whip reversal to a kitchen sink. Beautiful. Nice. Somebody said, Your shoes are untied. She said, Come tie it for me. Cosmic now taking advantage right here of JC Storm. She's got the boot right on the chest and the face. So what she wear, like a size 22? She got that foot. Hey, I caught her with a front kick in the chest. Charlie Murphy. I think I'm bleeding inside my chest from your boot. Oh, man, nice 80s heel tactic right there, raking her eyes across the ropes. Again, Cosmic, it ain't got to be pretty. She is, but hey, her brawling is... What's gonna win her this match tonight? JC Storm doesn't seem to have a freaking counter for any of this. She's overwhelmed right now. Uh-oh, big time up. She got caught up right there. These ropes are slick. We gotta think, man, we had a few matches beforehand, so the sweat gets on the ropes, you lose traction. It happens. Oh! Planet her, cover, two and a half. Beautiful move by Cosmic, and you gotta think the wherewithal from JC Storm to kick out and weather that storm in a sense. Uh, come on, you're not in the hit set. Again, this is a match from our sister promotion, Battle Club Pro out of New York, New Jersey. Here, ladies night out in the new AML training center. It's not new, it's a couple years old, but you know, it's the first time we out here. On the title match network, yo, y'all gotta bear with me. I'm White Mike, I'm Solo Dolo out here. JC Storm, she's fighting back. Cosmic has had control. Ooh! We had two strikes and then a, we got a headbreaker into a split. Jawbreaker, excuse me. Cover. Two. Oh, she didn't get deep on that cover. Uh oh. Little crucifix pin right there. One, two, and no. Uh oh. She counters. Two and a half. These ladies are trading pins left and right. Uh-oh. Speaking of pins left and right, back slizzy. Here we go. Backslide. Oh, my gosh. Cover two. Oh, man. I watched Jerry Lynn beat Lance Storm with that move. Big strike right there. I tell you right now, Cosmic, she's got them cosmic forearms. She don't play. She's got those cosmic kicks. Anytime she hits you, you see stars. You in another planet. You're another cosmos, yo. But JC Storm, proving to be a storm. Fighting back, big strikes here. Oh. That one from Cosmic shuts her up. She just using those meaty gams in the corner just to, to get all the, the wind out of her body, yadi, 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 yadi. Big strike. Uh. I know that wasn't weak. It just caught somewhere else, bud. Take it easy. That looked quite oh painful. And you hear live tonight, you hear a weak dude saying that was a weak chop. Oh. Yeah, what Oh, she just shut y'all up with that move, huh? Miss Comet Cosmic just shut y'all up, huh? Who's weak now? She said. She wants A. She's got something to prove. But right there, she can't take her eyes off of J.C. Storm. The fans are coming behind J.C. Storm. She's building it up. You hear the momentum. If she can just drop some thunder, drop some lightning. Cosmic 
That ref, she say, hey, go ahead, keep counting, ref. I just choked her for 20 seconds in your five second count. Oh, that's it, you can't take, you can't turn your back. Uh-oh, don't take that, JC Storm, you're on your feet. You're on your feet, JC Storm, let's go. There she goes, fast press, big strikes. Those might be close fists, but we can't tell. Uh-oh, cosmic reverses. Oh, we just got it, we just got it. I don't want to say a cat fight, but we got a cat fight. But I ain't going to say that. Oh, man, she just kicked her down the stairs. She just kicked her down the stairs. She didn't have no qualms about kicking a female down the stairs. That was crazy. Well, if it was like 40 of them, she would have died. Big time strikes right here. They're trading on the outside. Cosmic. JC Storm. She's weathering the storm. Boom. Big chop. These ladies aren't playing. Oh, hey, we're at a count of seven right here. These ladies need to get back in the ring. Oh, big time chop. Double chop to the back. Oh, wait, we're at a count. That's it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. These ladies are going at it, tooth and nail. This match has been ruled a double countdown. We're ringing the bell. We, hey, we need to get some people out here to break this up. These ladies aren't playing. This thing just took a turn from the worst. This was such an incredible match brought to you by our, our sister promotion in Battle Club Pro. And for it to end like this, these ladies, they definitely got to sell this. Who knows, maybe at a, uh, let's say, an 8 p.m. show. I don't want to say that. But these ladies definitely did settle this. This is unresolved. No reason for that. There we are. We got Colby Max coming out here. There's the bell, Colby Max. She's making, uh, this is her second time at Ladies Night Out right here. This is Sadie Lee Moss. This is actually, this is her debut. Nice collar and elbow tie up by these two female athletes. Here we go. A little aggressive right here. Pretty aggressive. And we give a shout out to all the fans that are watching on Title, Night Net Title Match Network. Excuse me, a little jambalaya right there. Speaking of jambalaya, you know, Sadie Lee Moss, she can cook. And right now, these two ladies are cooking. Yeah, I'm White Mike. I'm solo dolo toy right now. Hey. Look my face. Oh, nice right there. Sleek. Hey, Miss Sadie Lee Moss right there showing she can go. She's more than just cookies. She out here wrestling. And she's keeping the glasses on, too. Much respect. Colby Max, though, she's well traveled. She's put in the time up and down the roads. But Sadie Lee Moss, she's, uh, this is a bit of like a, a hometown for her right here. Work. You know, she's put in the work. She's, she's traveled as well. She's also a mother, so that's obviously hard work. Good grief. She's pretty much wrestling a child right now. Oh, nice tackle by said child. Oh, she just said, okay. Hey, hold up. Get your bears, mom. That's fine. Ooh. No, oh, the glasses went off. The glasses went off. By God. She's a mother. Oh, man. Oh, with the trip. Mama with the tricks. There she goes. Oh, nice knee attack. She's been obviously studying, putting in the work. But she's not raising them kids and getting them kids going out to go to school. She's watching wrestling matches, putting in work. We are very proud of Sadie Lee Moss around here. Same thing can be said about Colby Max, I'm sure. She's been putting in her work, but she came up to me early talking about, hey, you sound guys? Like, nah, girl, I'm about to bury you on commentary. What's up with it? Oh, she got hey, right there. A quick cover. The referee's quick enough. That could have been a three. But, you know, no big deal. Oh, writhing in pain right there in her Beetlejuice top. She's just feeling it. She's hurting. Sadie Lee Moss, she's got the, uh, the uh, you know, the aerobics instructor outfit on. She's she playing. She's out here getting physical. One. Cover one. Okay, one. Max, here we go. Maybe another cover right there. Rolling. Oh, she's using the momentum to keep it going. Sadie Lee Moss, apparently Colby Max has been very bad. She's got her by the ear. Make that young lady listen. Tell you 
right now. Oh, nice leg drop across the midsection cover. Oh, count of two. Man alive, this is pretty, uh, this is a big match feel right here we got going on ladies night. Presented by Title Match Network. Booyah, see I can get this, I'm gonna get this. We gonna, we gonna run with it. Big forearm strike right there by Colby Max. Boom, maybe she need to turn up the Max on those strikes when they got dropped like that. Sadie Lee Moss with a big right hand. That's that mama's right right there, you can play with that. Ooh, nice kick. Jump on oh, this lady just said finish it. We can play Mortal Kombat. Uh oh. Say oh, nice up and over into a Boston. Oh, single leg crab. She's been watching that land storm. Nice. Mama ain't playing with the float over into the single leg. Okay, Miss Moss. Colby basically screaming to the max. Good grief. That, what that guy said, yeah, half a crap. What he said, half a crap, huh? Here tonight, a ladies night out. Oh! She got the top of the head, that's not good. She could be very hurt. Lower back hit the buckle, that's a lot of pain right there. Y'all hey, think y'all know, but y'all don't. Oh, nice back elbow right to the mush. Oh, nice kick to the face. Hey, get out my face, little girl. Uh oh. Both heads. Maybe a Rana Mickey James style right there. Kobe turning it up to the max. Slowing down, putting the brakes. Another. Oh, big dog spear. Two and a half. Ain't nobody acknowledging that. Two and a half. My goodness. Ooh, you hear that strike. These ladies do not play on Ladies Night Out. Big time suplex. Can she capitalize with the cover? Hooks the leg. Two, ah, uh, two and a half. Now, Sadie Lee Moss, she can't be frustrated right here. She's got to focus on her opponent. She's got to, you know, got to keep those mom eyes lasered in on her. Does she have the ear again? She ain't playing. Y'all better stop. She's a mother first. Oh, right to the buckle right there. Hey, quick as a cat, Miss Sadie Lee Moss. Hey, girl, let me check that. Big strike to the gun. Sadie Lee Moss is cooking. Literally, oh, but she got caught. That's what happens when you flip it with the spatula too much. What's up? Oh, here we go. Maybe two a lot. Oh, she's got her. I don't know if she can escape this. Sadie Lee, this unique velocity oh, tap. We got a big submission victory right there. Whoa, man. Your winner of the match, Colby Mack. I tell you right now, it smells like Disney lies and hot chips and Sprite Zero up in here. Tonight, we got a one-on-one -on -one action. We got Kinsey Page, we got the dream girl, Ellie. This match should be very good. Oh, no, she didn't. She just called her Smelly Ellie. She just called her Smelly Ellie. Now, I will say this about these two young ladies right here. Even before the age of, I'd say, probably 21 for the both of them, they've already accomplished everything that there is, it seems to be. Let's be honest. Kinsey Page, she's world travel. She's done everything she's pretty much wanted to do before the age of 20. That's incredible. I've been in the crumbs for 15 years. I can't even get a text back. She's out here wilding. We, she's upset. She throws strikes. We get it. Dream Girl Ellie. Now she don't play, she stays in Disney and she stays throwing strike. Oh, she's upset. Oh, she yelling at the kids. That's how you know she mean. That's how you know she eat hot chips. She mean to the kids. She's mean to the kids. Oh, there you go. Nice to dream girl Ellie right there. Man, these two are really being some mean girls. Talk about Ella Envy and Kenzie Page. Oh! Now let's not forget that the last time we seen these two ladies, 
Speaking of Ladies Night Out, 11, they were tag team. So what happened? What happened there? Big strikes. These ladies aren't playing right here. This is what I like about these ladies. They throw strikes with embalming fluid. They are throwing death. Let's go. Very well could be match of the night right here. These ladies don't play. A nice whip reversal right there from Ellie. Big shoulder to the stomach. Oh, nice kick right there. Shades of Trey Miguel. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. I said, hey, I didn't want to say it, but I said, hey, I thought it. I saw it. <laughs> Cover. Count of two. That might have been a slow count. He's definitely sweating out there. It's fine. Don't call him out like that. Big strike. Big strike right there. Kenzie Pace. Oh, I was getting ready to say Kenzie Pace has lethal strikes, whether it's forearms, kicks, or whatever she's throwing, because she's throwing smoke. Oh, nice set out right there from Jean Girl Ellie. Oh, just lays out. Throws the line. Cover. This is a hard-hitting affair. These two ladies are not playing. They are playing for keeps. Last time they were here, they were a team. Now it's a blood feud, it seems. There's Ella Envy right there, yelling right there, where the hot chick said. Oh my gosh, what is she doing? Oh! She proved to be a deadly distraction, and then Kenzie threw a deadly head kick. She knows she don't have the cover. My favorite part is when people start to find themselves and they, stop, they start to not care what people think and they just start doing it their way. This is what Kizzy Page has been doing for a few years and it's obviously been working. Big knee strike. Oh, just laid out for that senton right there. That could be it. Oh. She's upset, she needs to keep her focus on Ellie. All it takes is one mistake, and Ellie can be back in this ball game right here. Now, both these girls are tough, no doubt. Oh, the referee, come on now. This is the second time we've seen this, and Ella is just taking advantage of this. But then again, you're pretty and empowered. You're pretty empowered to do what you want. <laughs> I see what I did there. See what I did? No, it's fine. It's okay. Come on, Ellie. Big whip. Oh, and a reversal from Dream Girl Ellie. Charges in, oh, big strike down. Caught it right underneath the chin. Oh, kind of baited her in, I felt like. Kinsey missed the senton. You can tell she's favoring that back. She's slapping the mat saying, ow, my back hurts. Dream Girl Ellie, she's gotta get up. She's gotta start moving that Dream Girl Jelly, and she's gotta start moving and rocking and rolling. Kinsey charges in, Ellie ducks. Big clothesline from Ellie. Another clothesline, she's got momentum. Uh-oh, caught, stopped, dropped, popped one more time. Oh, and knocked, you better cover. Oh, that might have cost her right there. Cover one, two, and ah. Oh. Taunt after you win. Again, you gotta stay focused on your opponent. You can't get lost in the sauce. We ain't Alex Zane out here. You gotta focus on your opponent. You can't let them get an opportunity to beat you. Because at the end of the day, it's about winning. Oh, block the strike. Stomp the toe. Woo! Stomp the toe, big strike. Big chop. Oh, you can hear the thud. Oh. She whiffed that kick, but she got that kick. Big strike right there, made up for the last two. Cover. One, two. Ah! She's getting a little cocky. Oh, she's upset. I think the fans are in her head. You can definitely tell Kenzie Page has been putting in the work. She looks leaner, she looks meaner. The strikes are forceful and she ain't playing. Again, same could be said about Ellie. She's not playing as well. She's always in Disney. Oh, snap. Big kick right there through the ropes. Oh, but caught with a deadly forearm strike. Oh, she said one for you too, girl. Oh, nice running back elbow right there. Another charge and another catch. You'd think he'd just stop running after each other. Oh, there we go. Another strike. Hey, these chicks are throwing strikes left and right. You gotta capitalize, you got the momentum. 
go for your move. Uh-oh. He said line in the witch. Oh, distraction, that could be enough. Ah! Oh! Now that's, that's cheap. Your winner of the match, Casey Page. Show us sportsmanship. Oh, oh. Rejected by Danica. Here we go, collar and elbow tie up. Beautiful go behind into a side headlock by James. Oof. Very contrasting styles here, Emily, as uh, Jessica James, kind of a uh, smash mouth, kind of in your face, uh, of course, using the martial arts that she learned in Japan uh, versus the kind of lucha style of Danica De La Rouge. That is right. And what you said about that, making that new resurgence onto the Texas indie scene. Uh, I'm wondering how much of her homework has she done with all of these women? I'm sure she's been watching. Um, but I wonder if these women have what have uh, done their homework in their history. Mm. Jessica James is, you know, she has such a storied history, and so much of it is unknown. I mean, she's she's been in the business a very long time, and uh, kind of hard to find it, information about her or tapes about her. She's the stuff of legends. That is true. As you see now, both women. Beautiful arm drag by Je Jessica. Ooh, and a Japanese variety there. Wheelbarrow into the arm drag. Good Lord. Incredible flurry of offense by Jessica James here. Oh. Stiff chops in the corner from Danica. That's how quickly the tide turns. Irish whip in. Oh. Jessica James again. These are the kinds of arm drags I've never seen before. I mean, she's just able to pull that arm from any direction. Oh, beautiful head. Oh, nasty head scissors. Keeping control of that arm. That's right, great ring awareness trying to pull Danica away from the ropes, but now Danica able to break that. Oh. And that unique offense, like you said, that goes back to all of the things that she's learned when her world, with her world travels. Absolutely. Of course, trained by AEW superstar Lance Archer. Oh, big flapjack by Danica. Oh. Just Danica just slamming Jessica's head into the mat. Incredibly vicious. Oh, and just that cocky cover is not going to do it. Not going to put away a vet like Jessica James. Oh, big chop by Danica. Oh. Trying to tear that shoulder out of the socket. What a feather in the cap it would be for Danica De La Rouge if she's able to take down the Texas legend, Jessica James. That is true. That would definitely be some bragging rights and would possibly put her into the title picture down the road. Absolutely. Irish whip reversed by Danica, comes in. Oh, big clothesline. Beautiful snap mare, hits the ropes. 
Ooh, went for a soccer kick. Oh. Ooh, connected from the back. Lateral press. Finally starting to go for these covers instead of the lackadaisical cover she was doing before. That's right, you're not gonna pin Jessica James with just the lateral press. I got news for you. Uh-oh. Beautiful uh, roll up there. Oh, only got a two count. Oh, Danica rakes the eyes. The referee being very lenient here and not disqualifying Danica. Looks the leg only gets a two count. Edge chop. Make it a double. Mm. Irish whip Whipping sends Jessica court. in. Here we go. Ooh. Rolling DDT hooks the leg. Only got a two. Just some clubbing blows to the back of Jessica. Sinks in a nasty rear chin lock with that knee being driven right into the small of the back. And not just an ordinary knee, that is the braced knee. I have to wonder if that brace making contact with Cheska's back. Oh no, and now 10 years of hair growth there. Those are not extensions, folks. That is all natural dreadlocks. That may have been just what Jessica needs, because she is fired up now. Oh, but Danica, with the obvious strength advantage, hits the ropes, big European uppercut. Watch out, ref. <laughs> Uh-oh, look at Jessica. Beautiful Hurricanrana. Ooh, big drop kick takes down Danica. And another. Oh, beautiful spinning DDT. Jessica goes for the cover. Danica with a lot less in the tank, able to kick out. Oh, big forearm strikes. Goes for the cross oh, body. Caught, caught by Danica. Absolutely, and now Danica Transitions into a power slam stance. Nope. Ooh. Nice fisherman suplex there. Hooks the leg. Jessica James still in this thing. Big flurry of offense by Jessica. Oh. Kicks to the legs and then a beautiful drop toe hold and now rear naked choke. Danica able to get to her feet. Jessica jumping on her back. Danica able to break that by 
slamming the back of Jessica into the turnbuckles. And now, oh my goodness, look at the strength. Big stalling vertical suplex. Floats over. Very close there. Danica now once again. Nope. Oh, goes for a backslide. Wow. Jessica James, an incredible backslide with a float over. Very special having second wrestling here all the way down from Chicago. Adding a little Chi-Town flavor to DFW All-Pro Women's Wrestling presents Good Morning Rise and Shine. Here we go. Kyra Nobotaya, Rache backing Billy up into the corner. Oh, she's co she's uh, complimenting the hair of Billy Starks. Billy Stark's not liking the current vibe that's going on here. Looking to change that with a test of strength. Beautiful takedown by Billy. And she's on Roche Chanel's hair, which is just, that is not something Roche Chanel takes very lightly, oh. as you can see. Roche with control of that. Uh-oh. Roche's got a comb. Trying to drag a comb through the uh, blue highlighted hair of Billy Starks. Now, would that constitute a foreign object? It would have to, right? A comb is a foreign um, object. Yes. I don't think I've seen her hit anybody with it, though. If she were to comb the hair of her opponent, would that be a disqualification? Um, I've seen her do that before. It's not, usually it's not a thing. She's she's even combed my hair okay. when I've been ring announcing for her before. Oh. Ooh. She's just, she's just trying to be nice. She's trying to help, help a sister out, you know? Absolutely, I mean, I'm not gonna argue. Oh. Nice sunset flip by Billy. One. Two, no. Oh. Sidekick to the head of Rache Chanel and uh, knocks the comb from her hand. Now, what I have seen her use is some hairspray. Oh, combing the hair of the crowd here. Making sure everybody is looking their best here on this lovely Sunday morning. Oh, beautiful leg sweep by Rache. Oh, and a big... Sidekick to the face of Billy Starks. Oh. And just, well, she has to go through her purse. Oh. Oh, no, there's that hairspray. That hairspray. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Spraying the eyes of the ref. Oh no, and now combing the hair of Billy Starks. The referee knowing that this is a title match is being very lenient on the rules. Oh, and oh. a big pump knee. Rache Chanel is deadly with those knees. Only got a two count there. Oh my goodness, and just... Going back to the hair. 
Oh, she look, look at that. She's checking on the ref, too. Oh. Did Billy Starks just throw a comb back at Roche Chanel? I believe she did. Oh, and now Roche. In the corner. Don't let the hair antics fool you. This is a vicious, vicious competitor. She absolutely is. Looking to add to her collection of belts right now. She is the current VWR Genesis champion, first ever. Um, like I said, I'm a little biased. VWR being my home promotion and Absolutely. all, but. Nice sleeper uh, hold by Roche. She did win that in a triple threat, so she can get the job done for sure. Oh, pump kick by Roche. Goes for a cover. Only got a two count there. Interesting submission here. Beautiful head scissors. Oh. oh, but Billy able to grab those ropes. Almost had a pinning predicament. The ring awareness of Billy Starks and Roche. Very impressive. Oh, just Ooh. slamming Billy to the mat. Now Roche, too. Once again with the hair. Nice back elbow. Oh, and a big forearm by Billy Starks. Wow. Oh, and a big knee. Snap mare. Rochelle's got something on her mind. Oh, my goodness. Beautiful flying knee. Hooks the leg. Two. Got a two count. Like I said, Roche Chanel deadly with those knee strikes. Mm. Kind of a modified camel clutch going on right now. Working that arm, working that shoulder. Look at Billy, though, nice trip. Vicious forearm strikes by Roche Chanel. Irish whipped her with such velocity that she came off of her feet. Three snaps and oh no. Billy backing her up with the elbow. Oh, and a big boot. Oh, what a kick by Billy Starks. The second wrestling women's champion. Oh, looking to re retain. Oh, my goodness. Now, maybe thinking a gory bomb. Oh, just plants Roche. Billy hooks the leg, too. Too close to the ropes. Billy Starks. Ending. Going to that top rope. Oh. Roche Chanel taking her feet out from under her. Oh. 
Ashay Chanel is calling for it. Oh. It's the ropes. Oh my goodness, that knee. Absolute devastation. Rache Chanel looking to take that second wrestling women's championship and put it in her pocketbook. Oh. Oh no, not on the outside. Oh no! Nasty vertical suplex by Billy Starks. Rolls back in the ring at an eight count. Nine. Oh no. And Rache Chanel has lost a braid. Billy. Oh. oh. Tope to the outside. The referee was at a nine count. Has restarted that count. Billy could have taken a count out win there, but that's not how she wants to defend this championship. She wants to beat Rache Chanel. Oh my goodness, Swanton Bomb. Uh oh. Oh, Rache Chanel. Rolled her up, but Billy's feet were in the ropes. Oh. What a German suplex. Oh. Billy Starks. Space Jesus Billy Starks retaining her second wrestling women's championship. She has been dubbed the first lady of hardcore. She's a former CZW Ironman champion and uh, recently inducted into the Indie Wrestling Hall of Fame. What a treat to have her in the house. The queen of hardcore versus the queen of the DFW cartel. Royalty all abound at DFW All Pro Women's Wrestling. Good morning, rise and shine. Lufisto has been wrestling for as long as Alejandra the Lion has been alive. That is saying something. Goes back to what I mentioned earlier with this veteran versus relative newcomer. Not that any of these women are in any way, shape, or form new, but in terms of a 25 year vet, mm. anyone's new. Yeah, absolutely. Lufisto has been everywhere. She's done everything. There's not much you can throw at her that she has not uh, experienced already. And Nastico has a bad habit of putting his nose where it does not belong. If he does it tonight... I agree with that statement. <laughs> if he does it tonight, I fear for what Lufisto might do to him. Yeah, that is... The King and Queen of the Deathmatch, that's not someone that I want to mess with. Absolutely just, not. Just either one of them, but <laughs> she's both. She's, it's the same person, which is terrifying. Alejandro working that arm. Oh, nice takedown by Lufisto. La Leona able to get to the ropes. Of course, with the DFW cartel, it's always a numbers game. Having a 20-year vet like Lou Gotti in her corner, Alejandra thinking maybe the experience of her trainer and uh, the, her co-member of the DFW cartel is something that can uh, help her out. That is right. And although Lufisto is a 25-year vet, that three-on-one, that numbers game is going to catch up to you eventually. That's the way of the cartel. But so far, Lufisto kind of having her way with the lion. 
big slam. Crowd, Crowd wants calling one. for <laughs> one more. Yeah, that's right. Ultra, here we go. Oh, big slam. Two count. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at this submission attempt here. He's trying to turn La Leona into a pretzel. Referee Lando Del Toro in great position. Oh, no. Driving that knee to the midsection of the lion. Oh, and now twisting at the head. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Still pulling something out of the lion's nose. Not sure what's going on there, but. Yeah. Fist the full. Uh -oh. oh. There's that numbers game. Lou Gotti. Oh. And Alejandra taking advantage of the distraction. The Don Father posing for pictures. Oh, and look at the lion taking full advantage. Alejandra's not above taking a shortcut, Emily. That's the cartel way, and now Luke Gotti. Speaking of this numbers game. Taking full advantage of every one of those five counts that ref has given her. I don't think anybody expected to see Lufisto in this position. As La Leona dumps her to the outside. And now look at Lou, the Don Father. Oh, come on. Fisto back in the ring now. Alejandra goes for the cover. Only a one count. Yeah, Alejandra, I think you might need to take care of her yourself instead of having your your people do it for you. That's right. The Indie Wrestling Hall of Famer. Oh, just almost put away Alejandro the Lion if it wasn't for the, the rope break. Nastico's writing oh, checks Luf with his mouth that his ass can't cash, I promise you that much. That look from Lufisto, I would not, I'm glad I'm not on the other end of that. Oh, I, I think Alejandro's scratching at the, at the mouth of Lufisto, those, those nails those claws, as it were. <laughs> Nufisto giving the ref the finger. That's a good way to say that I don't quit. Handful of hair by the lion. Brings the fisto down, only gets a one count again. Oh no. Alejandra trying to scratch through. Oh. Both women exchanging forearms. This Lufisto is hardcore. Oh. Both women hit the ropes. Double clothesline. Oh. Both women are down.
Both women still down. The refs at a four count. Oh my goodness. Oh, nasty headbutt by Lufisto. Huge clothesline. Double underhook, beautiful butterfly suplex. Lufisto introducing Alejandra to every single turnbuckle. That is true, taking Alejandra on a little trip here. Oh. Devastating chop from Lufisto. And she's taking requests as the crowd is saying, oh, we want one more. Oh. Cedar suplex hooks the leg. Oh, and Luffy still looks like she's got a camel clutch. Oh, oh. tearing at the face of La Leona once again. Big forearm shots. Oh. Turnabout is fair play as Lufisto scratches the back of the lion, hits the rope. Damn it, Lou. Oh. Pumpkin. Alejandra. Oh, no. Capitalizing Big. on that distraction once again. Hooks the leg. Lufisto able to kick out. Nastico had the ref distracted. La Leona now might be setting Lufisto up for that Meteora that she likes to put people away with. Oh! What a reversal from Lufisto. Oh my goodness, big hip strike right to the face. Now Lufisto, big cannonball. Hooks the leg, two. La Leona able to kick out at two. Lufisto now, oh, come on. And this numbers game again is. This distraction from Nastico. Oh, big super kick. Oh, come on, and now Lou assaulting Lufisto in the corner while Alejandra. Oh, there's that meteor, nothing wrong with the knee. Dirty tactics of the DFW cartel. Lufisto still able to kick out, much to the dismay and the frustration of the DFW cartel. Oh, look at the strikes. Spinning back fist by Lufisto. Oh my goodness. Oh, Ooh. incredible. Slam there, hooks the leg. 
And Lou Gotti once again. Crowd calling for them to be removed. Oh, no. big super kick by La Leona. Lufisto on Dream Street. She's instinctually able to still be on her feet, but now, oh, oh no. And Lou Gotti takes out Nasty Co. Oh, incredible slam there. Torture rack bomb, hooks the leg, three. The first lady of hardcore, victorious. This is gonna be her biggest challenge yet with the kick demon and the little blue dragon. That is right. And all three of these women have just been all over the place lately. All three women trying to feel each other out here. Think about doing a test of strength. Oh my. Oh. We mentioned the kicks. Janae Kai, nice roll up there, Holiday. Small package, two. Two to Lynn with one of her own. Janae Kai, oh, rolls are all the way up, Holiday. Rolled up as well, close to those ropes. that had the kicks of both of these women scouted. She has uh, so far evaded. That is right, the champ does her homework. Oh no, they've got Holodet trapped against the ropes, dead to rights now, forearms and strikes. That is one thing that I was think just thinking about, if the two of them team up. Mm. With, the, with those vicious strikes oh. of theirs against Holodead. Oh. We will definitely be looking at a new champion. Oh. Just teeing off on the champ. It, it's very smart. You get rid of Holodead, the bigger, stronger of the three, and then it's just, uh, it's essentially a- uh, It's just a, re a regular one-on-one. -on -one. And some kind of a karate fight out of a movie. Mm-hmm. Cody Lynn now in control of Janae Kai, but Kai fighting out. Irish whip. A oh, beautiful arm drag there. Oh, nice trip by Janae Kai. Maintaining control of that wrist. Another trip. Meanwhile, Hol Holiday just lurking in the background. I don't know if either of these women realize that she's back in the ring. That is right. Oh, what a big Yakuza kick right to the chest of Janae Kai. Oh, my goodness. Head into that turnbuckle. Following up with another one. Oh my goodness, beautiful slam there. Hooks the leg, two. Uh-oh. Oh, big leg drop by Holodead. Ooh, Tootie Lynn follows up with a kick. Goes for the cover. Broken up by Janai Kai. Tootie and Janae now arguing amongst themselves. Not very smart. Throwing Holiday in the corner. Oh my goodness. Teeing off with those kicks.
Janae sends two to in, big forearm. Oh, incredible double team offense. Helping each other out. Oh, Holiday out of that corner. Oh, and just stacks them up in the corner. Holiday getting rid of Janae Kai for the time being, and now hanging up Tootie Lin in the tree of woe. Oh. Making Holiday angry is something I would uh, advise against in the future for both these women. I would agree with you. One half of the Twisted Sisters with mm. Thunder Rosa. And the two of the, I mean, twi Twisted. Absolutely. I feel like that says all that needs to be said about it. <laughs> and now the deadliest thighs in the game. Oh, what a leg drop. Wait, watch out for Tootie Lynn. Oh. Nice drop kick. And now just teeing off on both of her opponents is Tootie Lynn. Big kicks to Howard and to Janae Kai. Oh my goodness. Oh. 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 Oh, those kicks. Janai and Tootie back to some tag team or so action. It's almost oh. it's almost a handicap match, a double noggin knocker there by uh Holiday. Oh jeez. Howard did now in full control. Meanwhile, in the ring, Janae Kai has a, a rear naked choke on Tootie Lin. The champion's disadvantage in this match, Howard does not have to be involved in the fall to lose her championship. Holiday with a choke of her own. Yeah, that's right, we've got a stereo rear naked chokes here. Tootie Lynn might be out. Oh. Oh, and Tootie Lynn. Oh, there you go, that's Breaking very. Breaking it all up. Very impressive there. Tootie Lynn making Team Ambition proud with their performance so far. Rear naked choke on the, the taller Holiday. Oh, and a dragon soup, uh, I'm sorry, a dragon sleeper. Very unique offense by Janae. Only a two count on Tootie. Goes to try it on Holiday. Only gets a two there as well. Janae Kai looks start getting a little frustrated over here. Mm. All three women trading chops back and forth. Oh. The kick demon, Janae Kai, proving that She's a, a, a strike demon, period. It doesn't matter if it's her kicks or her uh, open palm strikes or chops. She's just vicious with it. And Tootie Lynn. Ascending to the top, going up to the high rent district. Oh. Janai Kai meets her up, meets her there. Janae Kai going up too, maybe thinking superplex. 
But the wild card. Oh, Holiday. The wild card now. Oh, sends them both down. The first one up over here. Big pump kick from Holiday. Got to deny Kai up. Oh, Tootie Lynn. Sweeping leg kick. <laughs> Suplex Tootie Lynn. Janae now facing off with the champ. Nasty one armed uh, spine buster attempt. Oh. Incredible spine buster by Hawadeh, just planting the kick demon. Watch out, keep your eye on Tootie Lin, throws a kick, blocked by Hawadeh. Oh. Hawadeh on the outside. Oh, big kick by Tootie Lin, sends the champ to the outside. Perfect window for a new champion. Janae and Tootie. Shocking for position here. Throat thrust by Janae Kai. Oh, that oh. kick! Holiday sends Janae Kai outside. Taking full advantage of the Tootie Lynn. Oh, spikes her face first. Holiday, two, three. to Mission Pro Wrestling. We are live on the Title Match Network for Don't Stop Me Now from the Southern Star Brewery in Conroe, Texas. I'm Denise Salcedo, joined by Candice Cordelia. Welcome, Candice, to Mission Pro Wrestling. Thank you for having me, Denise, and thank you for the introduction. This is going to be a jam-packed night here at Mission Pro Wrestling. I can't wait to see what happens here in good old Texas. That is definitely for sure. We are kicking things off with our first match of the night. We have Ruthie J taking on Mighty Myra. And already we are seeing some aggression from both ladies. But a thing to note here today is that Ruthie J is actually making her Mission Pro Wrestling debut. Mighty Myra we've seen here before. So this is going to be an exciting matchup. Some good athleticism from Ruthie J already. Absolutely. I mean, for her debut, she seems to be really making waves here. The crowd is loving this, and, and I have to say I'm loving this as well. And she's going for a pin right off the bat. And, it's, you know, that's a little surprising. She's going for it right away. You know, that's showing a little bit of confidence in Ruthie J's work. This is her first time here in Texas. She's been wrestling down in Florida. She calls herself the gold standard. Uh, Candice, what does that tell you? I mean, it tells me the absolute top, top tier. I mean, that is what gold standard means and it means that she's here not for play play she's here for business so and I'm seeing a little bit of frustration with Mighty Myra here which is quite interesting I mean Ruthie is giving her a run for her money well right now Mighty Myra nailed her with a beautiful strike to the back of Ruthie J and now she's using this uh, showing a little dominance right off the bat it seems that Ruthie J is now starting to lash out show out a little bit of that anger throwing some rights to the face of Mighty Myra but Mighty Myra coming back with a knee to the midsection and and they definitely do want to find themselves during the on the outside of the ring, that's for sure. But we're seen as the, the gold standard here, rolling her up, going for a pin. Not enough, though. Definitely not enough to keep Mighty Myra down right now. Clothesline, going for another pin. 
and it's a two. I like how confident both these ladies are. They execute something and right away they go in for a pin. And of course, you know, what I find really interesting, especially with this match, is that Mighty Myra, she used to be a ref here at Mission Pro Wrestling, so she seems to have potentially a bit of an advantage, you know, being comfortable in the Mission Pro ring itself. But I find that to be very intriguing, as we're seeing right here now between both Mighty Myra and Ruthie. And we got another roll up here, a pin. Nope, two, not a three just yet. And I'm so happy that you mentioned that Mighty Myra and she's going again for another pin. Could this be it? Nope, not enough just yet. Mighty Myra did used to be a referee here at Mission Pro Wrestling and she got the bug, she got the urge, wanted to do, you know, wanted to start doing some wrestling. And we've actually seen her wrestle here a few times now at Mission Pro. The last time, for those of you guys who are familiar, the last time that we saw her here, uh, she was actually teaming with JP Harlow and they took on the theme the the team of Thunder Rosa and Anakin Rosa and what a beautiful spinning heel kick that we saw right now from Ruthie J followed by a close line picking up momentum picking up sting drop kick you know now I get why they call her the gold standard she is pulling out all of these tricks out of her bag right now and suplex beautiful bridge we're going for a pin and it's a two count, but that was a near three. The beautiful work and nice athleticism that we are seeing here from Ruthie J. I think she's making a mark here so far in her Mission Pro Wrestling debut. Candice, what are your immediate thoughts on Ruthie J? I mean, if you can see my face now, I am just super impressed by Ruthie J. She seems to have the crowd in the palm of her hand, and she's just throwing chops to chop, blow by blow. I mean, she's a heavy striker here. And now she's going to the top rope, but... Mighty Myra moves out of the way. And let's see if Mighty Myra can finally turn the tables in this match. Because right now it seems that Ruthie J has kind of gotten the best here of Mighty Myra here. And here's the thing to know about Ruthie J. She's been very impressive. We've seen some impressive uh, maneuvers here. Beautiful suplex from Mighty Myra. Not in now she's going in for uh I think she's actually locking in the mighty lock. That is the mighty lock. Can Ruth, will Ruthie J tap out? The, this could be it. Let's see. Mighty J, Mighty Myra locking in that mighty lock. Will it be enough to keep down Ruthie J? Ruthie J here trying to make an impressive debut at Mission Pro Wrestling. And it seems like it's not enough just yet, right, Candace? I know. I mean, this is really cool. Oh, oh there you go. Where? There. Oh, that's it. Never mind. It's over. <laughs> wow. Victory here for Mighty Myra. Excellent match between these two women. Even though they're getting the cheers right now, they are not impressed at all. They are not, and this is the thing about the Renegades, like you just never know what they're going to do next. Like I feel like you always, you try to be one step ahead of them, but you cannot. The Renegades have plans of their own. And we have seen Davian here before uh, at Mission Pro Wrestling. You guys saw her in action at Crazy Train, uh, in which she successfully defeated Sierra, and now she's back with her bestie here, Ava Everett. And a fun little fact here about Davy Yen and Ava. Davy Yen was Ava's first ever match. So they too, they go way back here. So I'm very excited to see how they, uh, how they act here as a team, how they plan things out, how they strategize. And we're getting Ava Everett and Robin kicking off the match here today. A little trash talk between both of these women right now. I don't know if Ava and Davian know what they have coming here with Robin and Charlotte. And there's the bell. Our ref Lane back in the ring. Quickly we are seeing that Ava is learning who she's getting in the ring with right now because she is meeting the aggression that Robin brings, that she brings to the ring. I don't think Robin was expecting whatever it is Ava is trying to, oh! No, but she's kind of not, she's not having it with Ava. She's not impressed by the move, she's not impressed by the quirkiness of Ava. 
No, the Renegade Twins came to wrestle, not to dance, not to play. Ava's bringing too much playfulness, which I'm here for, though. Yeah, oh, totally, but I don't think the Renegades are. They're just here to get them Ws. Absolutely. Trying to keep the tag team belts around their waist. That is the goal for tonight, right? Definitely is. Robin not impressed with Ava. And she's quickly making sure that she knows that getting up rather fast, showing that sass, showing that frustration. We just started the match and already Robin's showing some frustration. I wonder if that's going to lead into something later on because you know what? You've got to control your emotions when you're in the ring. I hope not. Oh, there we go. Robin, that spitfire, bringing in level, elevating that aggression up right now. Uh, she literally went from zero to 10 really fast. Ava certainly getting under her skin. But Ava seems to have some tricks up her own sleeve here today. The smile quickly went away from Ava's face. She is in game mode. She is ready. And sweeping Robin off her feet right now. And once again, Robin finds herself off her feet. And she's certainly not liking that whatsoever. Shoving Ava, showing a little bit of the attitude. And that's the thing about Robin that you should know. You know, she's a she's got an inflated sense of self. So being on the losing side or in any point where she's not at the top of her game, that's not something she enjoys. Absolutely, Robin, right now stuck in the opposing team's corner. That's not where you want to be. Oh, boot to the face. And Davian. One of the things that you should know about Davian is she certainly pow she brings the power. She brings the strength. Going for that pin early on, but that's not you're not gonna take out Robin that quickly. Davian has a power lifting background. She has also appeared a couple of times on AEW Dark. She made her wrestling debut in 2013. And right now she is meeting the fist of Charlotte. And once again, they make a quick tag and Robin back in the ring. But not before Davian gets a quick punch on Charlotte. She's definitely uh, trying to take out both of them at the same time, which I think is a very good strategy. Because you know what? Twins, they're going to be switching out on you. They're going to be using moves on you that, you know, are, are going to try and disable you. They, they've worked together before. They're sisters. Exactly. They shared a womb together. You can't compare that. Exactly. That's a lot of fire from Ava, though. Absolutely. Ava already took out Charlotte. She's coming for Robin right there. Ava is definitely getting fired up, but she... There's Charlotte. Charlotte with a massive clothesline on Ava. That's the thing. You know, we were kind of seeing Robin get a little frustrated in the ring with Ava, but let's not forget, she's got her twin sister there, Charlotte. And Charlotte is, you know, a little bit more fresh in this match, and she's ready to, to cause some pain. Robin going for the pin here. It's a two. Not enough to keep Ava down. Robin once again showing that frustration on her face and taking it out on Ava. I can only imagine that Davian is aching to get into the ring right now and Robin uh, choking Ava there with the boot there. Charlotte quickly giving an assist. Oh, I've said it before, in the opposing corner is not where you want to be, especially when it's in twin magic corner. Oh no, that's disrespectful. Shots fired, you guys could definitely hear that echo throughout the gym. Back to back, right to the chest of Ava. Davian, Davian so desperate in the corner for that tag, but Charlotte just in her way. Charlotte just taunting her now by throwing those, just kicking her head really, making that another quick tag bag into Robin. But we're seeing the twins keeping Ava in their corner. As you mentioned, not a good thing, Mel. Oh, and a little kick to the face by Charlotte Renegade. Maybe Robin getting a little too cocky with the one foot, trying to get that, trying to get that pin. Oh, smashing her face like she's a rag doll straight into the mat. 
That's how you know Robin's really pissed off. She is definitely taking it all out right now on Ava. Charlotte getting into the ring now. Not one moment where they have even allowed her to get near Davian to get a to get a tag. Charlotte talking to the ref, and there's Robin. There's Robin capitalizing and taking advantage as they do every time. Exactly. You said it well. You said it best, Mel. This is something that we have seen from the Renegades time and time again. They've been championships since Don't Fear the Reaper. They've been successfully defending those titles, and each and every single win has just boosted their ego, which was an already a pretty inflated ego. Absolutely. There's Ava trying to get out of it. Oh, will she get the tag? Right there. Davian is in. Davian coming in hot with those clotheslines on both the Renegades. The Renegades not expecting it, and Davian bringing them down. She's feeling the power. She's feeling the energy. Finally, all of the pent-up frustration. That's right, she's watched Ava take all the beatings in the ring right now. Davian is fresh, she's coming out. Oh, twin into twin. Davian suddenly came in prepared, bringing Charlotte down with a massive right. I'm not gonna lie, Davian has given me some energy as well. That is amazing, I love it. Look at her. Oh! Stacking the twins up. Going for the pin, is this, a, nope, not enough though, but that's all right because Davian came in here hot, Melanie. Yes, she did, and look at that. She is not slowing down. She is ready to make some mincemeat out of Robin. And Davian mentioned that this is the year that she wants to make a statement here at Mission Pro. Imagine what it would mean, would imagine look getting a this. win over the oh. Renegades. Maybe Davian got a little too cocky there as she, uh, as she squatted Robin Renegade. Can they do it? Can they both get Davian up there? No. Best friends in. Ava. Oh. Throwing forearms back and forth. Bunch of rights there. And a kick to the gut. Stunners. There you go. Best friends stunners. I love that. Best friends stunners. And now Davian dragging Charlotte, no Robin, get going for the pin, but it's a two. Not enough there. Wow, what a match this has been. For those of you watching Title Match Network, thank you guys so much for joining in. We still got so much more action to come. Right now you are seeing the Mission Pro Wrestling Tag Team Championships being defended by your champions, the Renegade Twins. We still got more to come. There's a tag by Ava. She's coming in. She's ready to get some revenge on the twins right now. Oh, and a spear by Davian. Can they capitalize on it? Ava going for the cover. It's a two count, not enough. And now we're seeing Davian and Charlotte on the outside go at it. Charlotte tossing her face right into the post. Ava better watch out. She's got both of them in the ring. We've seen it before. That is not a place you want to be. Great teamwork here by the Renegades. Is this going to be it? One, three. Oh, that is it. The Renegades retain once again. And a nice handshake from both women. I love that, the sportswomanship that we are getting right now. Definitely, definitely. So, um, La Rosa Negra, I am definitely familiar with. I have wrestled her before, like in my very much younger years. Maddie is very new to me, so I am very interested in this to see how Maddie comes out and how Maddie's going to handle such an aggressive opponent as La Rosa Negra. I was going to ask, how is it? What is it like being in the ring with La Rosa Negra? I I love it because she might be kind of small, but she is so aggressive and she has that heart that just keeps driving her in her matches. I think that the Mission Pro Wrestling fans are certainly familiar with that heart that La Rosa Negra has because she has had a uh, pretty interesting journey here at Mission Pro Wrestling you know uh, she was a former champion and unfortunately that got taken away from her she's been trying to get back to the gold once again you know she's had her taste but you know she hasn't been able to claim her gold back and then on the other hand you have Maddie Renkowski who has just been completely unstoppable both in singles action and also in tag team action she's been teaming with Rache Chanel as 
as Bougie Reality, and they've been picking up them wins, so she certainly has a confidence right now. So then what, what are we looking at here? Do you think we're looking at a girl who is already so deep into the tag team matches that maybe she's forgetting how to work as a singles wrestler, or do you think that she's just as dangerous? I would say she's just, she's just as dangerous because Maddie has picked up wins and very impressive wins. At Crazy Cheering, she defeated Maserati. At Silver Bell, she had a very competitive match against Lady Frost in which she defeated her as well. So she's sort of like, no matter what position you put Maddie Rinkowski in, she finds a way to get herself a win. And then on the other hand, you have La Rosa Negra, who is just a fighter. And right now, she hasn't been getting as many wins as she probably would like. All right, so we see this technical, very technical start off to this match, and they're they're down on the ground. There's lucha moves. We've got technical submissions. We've got chain wrestling. We've got mat wrestling. So far, it looks like both of these girls definitely bring it from all angles. They certainly do. It doesn't matter if it's a groundwork, whatever they can do, uh, they bring it. They bring their A game all the time. That's part of the reason why they're such favorites here at Mission Pro. I, then I think there's something to be. <laughs> Love I mean, the flair. Well, love, yeah, I love the flair. Like any time you could be that good of a wrestler where you could actually enjoy the moment as much as La Rosa Negra just did, you know that that is nothing but pure talent beneath that. She certainly is, and right now we're seeing all of that laying strength. But Maddie Renkowski, she's been through war. She's been to, through Howl and Back with several opponents. This is just the start right now. She's been through worse. And you can tell right now in both of their smiles right now, they know who they're in the ring with. Absolutely. And I'm. I'm I'm definitely excited to see what's going to happen. They're they're both like they're equal in size. They're pretty much equal in weight. So this is going to be a tit for tat match. I think what we got going on here. I think so too. And right now we got Maddie locking in La Rosa Negra. But you're seeing. I also love the way that La Rosa Negra uses her strength in her legs, as you can see right now, to kind of get her out of that submission. Picking up the speed leapfrog there. Sweet hops. Any woman's game here. They got my eyes going back and forth. Another leap from the leapfrog from Maddie Rinkowski. Oh. Shoulder tackle by La Rosa Negra. All she needed was that one little second, a little bit of arrogance, and La Rosa Negra totally capitalized on top of it. Beautiful pin there, but not enough to get that three count. A little bit of that aggression that from La Rosa Negra right now. They don't call her La Abusadora for nothing. She's going to use any moment to throw in an extra. Oh, exactly. And I, I think despair. that's that's a good thing about her is that she's not afraid to throw a hit. She's not afraid to take a hit. And I think that's, you know, when you get to situations like this, that might be exactly, oh, Ooh, kinda, where you're going to have to go. Kind of looked like La Rosa Negra didn't know where she was at for a minute there. Elbow there from Maddie Renkowski going for the pin, but it's a two count only. You know, I'm surprised to see a little bit of that frustration right now from Maddie Renkowski so early on in the match. I mean, I'm pretty sure really, like, she could think that she's taking her down quickly just because you have like, Abusa, Abusa Dora down on the match does not mean that you're going to get a pin. Exactly. Exactly. Nope. Block. Shut. Oh. Yes. She's ready, La Rosa Negra was definitely ready getting all those blocks in, but Maddie Rykowski had another trick up her sleeve, smashing, uh, getting, bringing back down La Rosa Negra straight to the mat face first. Definitely getting a little aggressive with that elbow to the knee and the, oh! A little payback there from La Rosa Negra, <laughs> knocking down Maddie. Definitely, and take your time, girl. You took her down with that one. I feel every time, Ruby, that I think that one woman has the upper hand. It doesn't last long because the other one comes right back up, and I'm like, oh, well, there we go. That's what makes, that's what makes watching both of these competitors very exciting because just when you think they're down and out, they come out with something else. Definitely, definitely, and I, I think this is just that dynamic where I said I really feel this is going to be a tit-for-tat match. Both these girls seem to bring aggression. They're both equal in size, so I think it's just going to be who's willing to go that extra mile and be a little bit more mean, a little bit more brutal right now to get that pin. Is our crowd a little 50-50 is what I'm sensing? They're definitely, they're split. And we got some elbows there from Maddie Renkowski, followed, followed by La Rosa Negra, but Maddie Renkowski hitting her with a bunch of elbows, picking her up, 
showing that strength. Beautiful work from Maddie Renkowski. You know, Maddie has been featured a lot lately on AEW. She has wrestled over 22 matches with AEW uh, this past week. You know, she was just, uh, you know, on AEW Rampage. She's been absolutely killing it. And you can you can see you can tell that she's been she's been wrestling a lot. She seems to be on top of her game, especially with like the diving form, like that. Just taking advantage of her opponent wherever you are. You're in the corner. She's gonna find you in that corner. She certainly is. She's been wrestling since 2019, and she is this good so fast. Now, can you tell me a little bit about where she came out of? So we actually have Maddie Renkowski has been, you know, making the rounds everywhere. She has, you know, obviously we've seen her a lot here at Mission Pro Wrestling, but one of the things that you should know about her is that, you know, she talked a lot about, you know, what she loves about being a pro wrestler is having the attention on her when she's on the ring. She loves the power that being a pro wrestler brings to her. She loves being the center of attention. Well, she's the center of attention right now. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not the attention she may want, though, uh, with all of those brutal uh, elbows from La Rosa Negra. La Rosa Negra from San Juan, Puerto Rico. She likes to spread what she calls mazucamba. Springboard elbow right there. She's coming back with a big shotgun drop kick to Maddie. Very perfectly executed, too, from La Rosa Negra. Going in for the cover. Just a two, not enough to get the three count. One of these girls is going to have to take it to that next level and get just a little bit more, dig a little bit deeper and really pull it out, I think, to, to keep each other down in this match. And I feel like right now La Rosa Negra is thinking. She's brainstorming ways in which she can take down Maddie. I think Maddie has surprised her here, maybe because we kind of see it in her facial expressions right now. It looks like she was trying to think of a plan here. What can she do next? What can she really do to take out Maddie Renkowski, Renkowski and keep her down for that three count? I'm ready, I'm ready for it. Like, get her, there you go, get it brutal. Give her those shoulder checks and just really get in there. Oh, she's getting in there for sure. Bringing her down. Choking her with that right leg. And I, and I think that's how you can tell that La, La Rosa Negra is getting a little bit more aggressive, like when she's, she's going to the chokes. And now she's going to the butt now. Yeah, she is. Here we go. Oh! And that's the thing about La Rosa Negra is that she has this very aerodynamic style. She brings the speed. She brings the power. She's athletic. She's strong. Uh, all of things that we're seeing right now being shown and displayed in this match. She's going for the cover once again. Again, not enough. That frustration showing on La Rosa Negra's face. Like, she, she's in there. She needs to, like, where is she going to go next? Where is she going to go to keep her down? It should also be noted that Maddie Renkowski also holds gold out in other outside promotions. Uh, she is certainly making a name for herself. So keep that in mind. You know, she's going places, she's traveling places, she's working different places. So she wants to make sure that she keeps those, uh, you know, those wins alive across the board. Definitely, I could definitely see, like, especially if she's holding gold in other spots. So. What's going to happen if she takes a, you know, if she takes a loss here? What does that say? Does that mean that La Busa Dora should go and claim her gold? Like, I can see where she has to be on top of her game and just keep it rolling right now. But right now, the rolling's going down. Oh! And does Maddie even know where she's at right now after being spun like that? The way that La Rosa Negra spun her? Interesting pin there, but not enough. Again, that frustration from La Rosa Negra. She has been through hell and back here at Mission Pro Wrestling. This says something to the heart of Maddie, too. She's taking all these hits and she's taking these big... Oh, oh there we go. Chop. You big mentioned chop. taking it to that next level, Ruby. I think that chop took it to the next level. And that's what you need. You need to pull into the second and third gear right here and just lay it in the way Maddie's doing. It's okay, girl. Let it go. Get it. Let that anger and frustration out. That could be the catalyst for her win. Absolutely. Oh, that kick to the back. La Rosa Negra taking a brutal shot. But she finds the strength. She finds the will to kick out of that and keep hanging on in this match. 
Maddie just going for the pins now. If she's near the, if she, if La Brusa Dora is near the ground, I think she's going to try to pin her because she wants to end this. Oh, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm pretty sure that's illegal. Yeah, referee uh, Hella needs to make sure to uh, wrap that up. Oh, I think it's time for Maddie. She's all those chops, all those hits the Abusadora gave her. She's oh. Oh, there we go. Some nice aggression into Maddie Renkaska. She gives her a multiple, running her shoulder right into Maddie, bringing her down straight to the mat, going for the pin. Two count. Not enough. Now trying to choke her out there, trying to take out some of that breath, trying to wind her down, trying to keep her down, trying to kill some of that momentum that Maddie has. Maddie right now is going to need all that she can from the crowd. The crowd certainly getting behind Maddie right now, using those, uh, diving her elbow into La Rosa Negra, but La Rosa Negra being quick on her feet here. Definitely, and you know that Maddie lost some of her air right there, so she's at a little bit of disadvantage. Could Rosa take her down? Another two count. We are certainly seeing a lot of pinfall attempts, none of which are sticking, none of which are landing. I think La this Rosa. is the most pins I've seen all night. I think so too. I They're think so too. Yeah. There you can tell both girls want to win. La Rosa Negra getting that right arm ready. Don't turn around, Maddie. Don't turn around. Oh, brutal. Absolutely brutal there from La Rosa Negra. Oh. What must be running through both of the minds of both of these women? If you're La Rosa Negra, are you gonna? I just don't think she should be getting. Uh, she should. She shouldn't be wasting any time right now. Definitely, I wouldn't be giving her a lot of air, but I know probably Maddie right now is just on automatic, like autopilot, just going and knowing that she can't stay down. That no matter what happens, that she has to keep fighting. Samoan drop right there from Maddie. Another two counts. And now Maddie's starting to look around. I think the wheels are spinning in her brain right now. What can she do? What can she do to bring to keep La Abusadora down? He knew from the beginning that this was just going to be a fight, that these two were just going to go at it, and I feel like both of them have the need for this one. Big, big roll-up real quick. Where is it? Where is it? Nope, nope. Oh, oh, hey, what? The shock factor on La Rosa Negra's face right now. I think she really thought she had that one. Oh, big. back. Ooh, that was to the kidneys. Oh, Maddie. Maddie's certainly going to be feeling it, man. Now she's showing that strength. Now. Ruby, if you were Maddie in this situation right now and you're taking a beating, what do you do? What do you do to try to get a leg up on uh, La Rosa Negra? I'm a savage. I'll fight from the floor. If I'm laying down near, even remotely near me, I'm going to be kicking and clawing. And... Frog splash, but it did not seem to go well for La Rosa Negra. I believe Maddie got her leg up or she kind of moved out of the way there. But either way, uh, it was not the outcome that La Rosa Negra was hoping for there. And now both women are down. This is anyone's game. This is exactly what Maddie needed to even get any sort of opportunity to just get an extra breath in there, you know? Yeah, when you go to the top like that, it's definitely a high risk. And then Maddie counters at the last second. Both girls taking damage with this. It'll see who gets back up to their feet and who has the power to keep going forward, and both of them. But Maddie is on top first with a big clothesline, second one. Now she's feeling the fire right now, and the crowd is certainly helping her out right there. Drop kick to La Rosa Negra from Maddie Renkowski. She's feeling the energy. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got next from Maddie. Diving her body weight right into La Rosa Negra. Can this be it? She's going for the pin. One, two. No, nope, not enough. What a matchup this has been. Uh, what are your impressions here of Maddie here tonight, Ruby? Oh, I want to wrestle her now. <laughs> I definitely want to wrestle her now. We go for Quesadora. Here we go. Up and oh, Ace Buster. Going for the pin once again. Could this be it? No. It's just right here, and you can see their mentality. Every, their, no matter what they're going for, they're trying for the pin. Each girl wants this victory. It means a lot to both of them. I lost count of how many times we've seen some pinfall attempts. Definitely glad I didn't start counting that. 
Maddie with a kick to the, the gut and then the knee of La Rosa Negra. Oh, wait, wait, what's this? What's this? What, what's what is going on? The Renegade Twins here distracting the referee. Wait. We got Robin and we got Maddie there with a pin that could have been a three. That was beyond three. That, I think you're certainly right, but the Renegade Twins distracting the referee. This is what we have known to come and expect from the Renegades. They do this a whole lot, but why here? Why right now? La Rosa Negra hitting Maddie in the back. And I, I, what is happening right now? Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Now they're holding on to Maddie. No, oh, oh. No. She almost Someone. once liked her eyes out. Just Maddie on top. No. No. Oh. Double oh, shot to the face. This match is thrown out. That's it. That's it. There's no winner. Are you kidding me? These two came out and they disrupted the match. And the ref saw there's no winner in this one. I feel like this is heartbreak. This is absolutely heartbreaking for both of these women. More so Maddie Redkowski here who got screwed. went there but you see the thing is if you want to interfere in my matches because why because you want to cost me an L well I'm sorry to tell you this whatever y'all are you're not even renegades <laughs> you have a boss who has also cost me a match so I want to and hurts you are well, you're judge. Right. I have you oh. hold your belt Chanel Bougie Reality No DQ match against the Renegade Twins Robin and Charlotte As we move right along to the action here Chelsea Green Defi she definitely has the, uh, the, the vertical here Kenzie no doubt has the strength here Kenzie known to be a stiff snug competitor here pushes her up against the ropes here And Chelsea shoving her face here. And Kenzie Page at her home promotion, Crossfire Wrestling, where she started. She's not going to take that. Both circle the ring. Nice lock up there. Right into a headlock. Nice headlock takeover by Kenzie. And Chelsea lose, definitely using those long legs there. Sweet by Kenzie Page. Looking for a cover. One. And Celeste right there for the cover. Snap matter there by Kenzie. Big kick to the back. Kenzie a brawler herself. Looking for a two count there. Trained by Dr. Tom Pritchard and Ricky Morton and Kane. Uh, it doesn't get any better than that here. Going right back to the basics here against Chelsea Green. Green shoots her off here. Oh, look, Kenzie showing that power like I said earlier. Shoulder takedown there. Bounces off those ropes. Now reversal by Chelsea. Looking for something here. Reversal by Kenzie. Nice back elbow there. And a nice kick. A super kick there. And Chelsea Green rose to the outside. And I don't know if you want to do that. Ooh, big forearm there by Kenzie Page. Right up against that barricade there. Chelsea looking to go out into the crowd. 
Chelsea Green's a tall drink of water here. Definitely the vertical advantage here. Oh, but it's not coming to play yet. Kenzie follows her there if we can get a camera out there. Oh, big four on there sitting, sitting in the chair there. And Kenzie amongst her people that she's fought in front of since the age of 14. We've seen her take on everybody from Tessa Blanchard to Deanna Perrazzo, Jordan Grace everywhere. If we can get a camera back there, both these girls going at it. Chelsea now has control of Kenzie there. Oh, Kenzie with a chop there. Kenzie trying to take her back to the ring here. And if I'm Chelsea, I try to stay inside that ring. Kenzie, oh, big chop there again to the outside. The striker. And Chelsea trying to go to the back here. Chelsea, this might be a smart move, goes to the back here. Kicks Kenzie out of the entranceway, using those long legs, kicking her out of the entryway. And as we see Chelsea Green, as Kenzie rolls back into the ring here, slowly but surely, And Chelsea has transformed herself, it looks like, into the hot mess. And when she does this, she's a little bit more nasty. She's a little, oh, dragging Kenzie by the hair of the head, a little bit more vicious. A whole lot like Manic was. With that lipstick smeared all over her face, I'm gonna roll to the outside here. You have to wonder if the mind games kick in here. Rose Kinsey back into the ring here. And the hot mess has arrived in Crossfire Wrestling. Big right hand there by Chelsea, using those long arms there. Licking that hand slowly, chopped there to the chest of Kinsey Page. Rolling her back into the ring here. Chelsea right now has the advantage. Nice kick out there. Nice kick out there by Kenzie Page at two and a half there. That was on sheer instincts right there. Chelsea whips her in here, looking for something. Oh, big boot right to the face there. We talked about that vertical two and a half there and the kick out there. And referee Celeste right on it there. Chelsea looked like, a, it looked like he was choking her instead of a pin there. Kenzie finding refuge into the corner at that bottom rope here. And oh no, looking for a curb stomp here potentially. Curb stomp, right into the bottom rope there. This could be it here. One, two, two and a half there. And ever since she transformed herself, putting on that lipstick into the hot mess, she's been in complete control of this matchup. Just shoving Kenzie's face around. Four on there by Chelsea now. And both of these women here going at it. Another forearm. Another forearm there by Chelsea Green. Oh, she slapped her right in the face. Welcome to the Indies. Now both women here fighting it out here. Misses that kick. Misses the kick. Blocked there by Chelsea Green. Oh, a double strike there other out here and a double down at about the seven minute mark right here the KFW fans right here in the Smoky Mountains of Sevierville Tennessee eating this up right here on the title match network can't think title match enough Go subscribe, go pay your $9.99 and watch the best in independent wrestling there. Chelsea trying to throw a right, but it's blocked there. And Kenzie bringing her to her feet now. Ooh, three 
forearms. Working on her. Kenzie looking for the backbreaker there. Chelsea on that second rope now. Double knees to the back there. This could be it. If Kenzie can turn her over, this could be over one, two, two and a half there. Wow. That was almost a three. Kenzie looking at referee Celeste like, what, what, what do I got to do here? Trying to lock her into something. Some forearms to the back of the neck there. Wrapping her up here. Almost a full Nelson here. Reversal. Shoves her into the rope. Chelsea looking. Oh, it took every bit of everything to get that German right there on Kenzie landing on the back of her neck here. Chelsea showing a little bit of that strength there, you know. Gets Kenzie up. She may be looking for the imprettier here. Kenzie turns her around in the cover. This could be over if she looks for the cover here. If she can get it, she won. Two, three, Kenzie Page has won. She has beat Chelsea Green in her hometown. Ladies and gentlemen, the goal winner of the match by pinfall, Kenzie Page. of the evening. Big Swole, reigning icon champion, the Afro Punk, Trish Adora. They fought in DC for the Pan-African World Diaspora Championship, and Swole came up short. This time, it's for the icon's title. Trish is looking for all the gold. OK, remember when I said I was excited before. <laughs> I think this tops it. This is going to be one of the best displays of pro wrestling ever.
this. Look at that. Innovative pin there by Trisha Dora. She's known for winning matches with very unique pinfalls. When she beat Lee Moriarty, it was such a unique pinfall. Look at that. Such a unique pin. No one saw it coming. And when it happened, it was just like, wow. Look at that. You talk about two of the most technically sound wrestlers in the world. Oh, wow. But look, I felt Big Swall was going to bring the pain. She was going to come in and attack because trying the one up to ship in the mat based game didn't work last time. Here comes Big Swall. Oh, look at that. Uh, oh. oh. Softening her up. Oh! Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> under. Look at that. Yeah. Wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> right. we are wrestling. Look at this. Shot to the midsection there by Big Swole. Ah, tackle. Trisha Dora showing her power. Up over. Oh! Calculated that cross body. Oh, man! That pump kick right to the face. Ah, just kicked out. You know, I love that just shows her innovative style, her uniqueness. But I also love when Swole comes back with it and it's just like, hey, I've got power too. Yeah. Don't, don't discount me. Swole informed me she's, she's been training in, in mixed martial arts. She's been training in yoga. She's, she's, she's taken a, the opportunity to stop just powerlifting and she's working on functional strength. Yeah, and it's showing right now. And I wonder if Trish actually factored that in. Yeah, I, I mean, it, rematches are always different. You know, boxers back in the day would refuse to take rematches because once you win, there's no reason to. Yeah. Trisha Dora wants this Icons championship, so the rematch was taken. But could that backfire on her? Oh! There's some power on her own with a strike, that body avalanche. Oh! Hip check in the corner. Oh, look at this. Uh -oh. oh my god! Dumped her right on her head! Oh god. Oh shit, how the hell did she kick out of that? Oh. Right into the ropes. My heart. Swole falling right on her neck. She, she told referee Steve Beck she's good to go, but. That's got to be tough. Kick out. Swole has definitely, definitely had her senses shaken there. Yeah, maybe this is what Trish needed to kind of rock her. Yeah, a that bit. that move could have definitely been the the move to lead to a victory for Trish. Well, fight back. It was, you can tell she's a little off. She's a little. Oh, oh there it is. That explosive cross body. Oh. Oh. Swole is just a little off. She's a little slow. She's Gotta believe that that injury, is, that, that pile driver, I, I, that tiger driver is really what it was. It's affecting her. Yeah, she's a little off, but she still has the energy to kick out. She still has her wits about her. You're at right. Least for survival. Right. Getting Swole up top. Swole wiggling out. Oh, oh wow. Huge punch that in the midsection. Short hook to the midsection. No. Oh, nobody home. Oh! oh. Look at this. Oh, over the sunset flip. Kick out. Massive headbutt! She just threw her 
down for a cover. Oh, you know, just I, kicked out. I wonder if Swole just kind of rocked Trish right now. Yeah. She threw everything she had into that headbutt. <laughs> They're gonna exchange blows here. Oh, Looks yep. like it. Yeah, they are. Oh. Oh. Both of them saying, bring it on. Give it. Oh. Exchange of kicks oh. now. Oh. Oh, goodness. Oh, that right hand. Deadlift, German. Oh. Just kicked out. You, know, you want to talk about power. You want to talk about skill. But you want to talk about black excellence. That's what's in this ring right now. 100%. I, I'm still baffled at how slow is continuing. From yeah, that, honestly. The resilience just. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Full now. Still fighting back. Oh! Trish really clever. She knows. Oh! It's a gurry. She knows Swole's neck is not. Going right after it. Oh! Pump kick took her head off. Is that it? We have a new champion. Two. Oh! So close. Wow. <laughs> Trish thinking, I have thrown everything I have at this woman. This is this is in insane. What do you do? This is incredible. I can't believe it. Ducks under. Oh, oh. she's looking for that ripcord. Go! Oh. Did she get enough? Did she get enough? That's oh. it! Fatal four-way action, and you've got a connection here.
another original icon in Bone Saw Jesse Brooks. Uh, I don't know if you heard me. I screamed as soon as she came out. That is my girl. The crowd firmly behind Bone Saw. Brooklyn's oh, own. Look at this. Brooklyn oh. versus Albany. Riley wants a handshake. Damaris wants a handshake. I mean, bless her heart. Oh, oh. wow. Oh, goodness. Oh. That's how we say hello, bro. Yeah. Oh! Oh! oh. Early and with a chop. Riley's like, okay. You don't want to say hi to me? Oh. Oh! Ooh. Exchanging forearms. Oh! Changing choppers. <laughs> Tavares going in. I don't know how smart that is. These four ladies are just in there throwing bombs. Oh, what's this going to be? Oh, dueling clotheslines. I already love it. I already love it. Our, it looks like there's, was that like a little alliance that we just saw? It might be. That's a little nod going. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. You know what? Nope. Clipping Christina with that boot. Oh, Damara is trying to get the crowd hype for. Oh, wow. <laughs> Cutting that dive off with that massive forearm. Oh, forget about it. Look at this. Okay. Oh, up, under, through the legs. Oh, look, at, right. look at the style here. Damaris Dawkins trained at the Worldwide Dojo so she can move. One of world famous CB's best students. Absolutely, I got the punch of the Oh, oh. Riley oh. eating the pillar. So much action happening. I don't even know where to look first. Dawkins is a house of fire in the ring. Oh. Oh, and running clothesline while she was seated. Bonesaw does not look happy. No, no, she's not used to getting beat up. She's used to doing all the beating up. Courageous oh. in there, ducks under the clothesline. Look at that, look at the chain wrestling there. Oh. Christina Marie with a bit of a mean streak. Well, I mean, listen, she's a powerlifting champion. Yeah. Why are we surprised? Yeah. Oh, man. Right hands to the face. Christina's like, you've got chain wrestling. I've got full power, baby. Full power. Ooh, and here comes some more. Beautiful oh, Samoan wow. Drop. Massive Samoan drop right into a cover. Kick out, but Bonesaw was there for the save. This is what I want to see. Oh, here this we go. Is what I want. Here we go. Woo! Bonesaw uh, is as strong as anybody. Christina kind of surprised. Look at, the at that. Bonesaw, she oh. shouldn't be. Bonesaw, she's easily the person that made intergender wrestling in New York City famous. Absolutely. Getting matched. Oh, wow. What a chop. Oh, 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 that was a thud. They felt that in the Bronx. They definitely did. Back, 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 <laughs> gone. Oh, oh wait, Christina uh, reversing. Oh, ooh. pulled her straight down. Damaris. Pulling the feet. Oh, what, what oh, the hell's going on here? Oh, catching the clothesline. No. Irish River versus. Oh, goodness. The courageous one showing why. Oh, look at Riley. Riley's going to win the match. Let us not oh. forget the gladiator of the geeks. Oh. Shotgun drop kick right to the midsection. Oh. Close line brings her out. Oh, she's looking for that level up. Oh. No. Oh, she got. No, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God, the power. Riley. Riley showing the power. Backbreaker into a fall away. Christina fought tooth and nail. Look at that flip up. 
she's the gladiator of my heart. Oh, wow! Took her head off! Oh, Boto is not pleased. Boto going for cover. Oh, just a count of two. I know that face. Yeah. I've been on the other side of that face. Yes, she's looking to cause some pain. I am very scared for Riley right now. Look at, oh, oh Christina Marie, like a spider monkey, just running across the ring, pulling Damaris down. Smart thing to do. Oh, here we go. One of the Suplexes. Oh. Boom. <laughs> Oh. oh, ducks under. Oh, what's she here trying to do here? Damaris. Going for a backbreaker. Look at the power of Damaris this time around. Look at the spinning sidewalk slam. Oh, wow. Love it. Damaris impresses me every single time. Oh, wow. Grace one better watch out. Oh, needs to the midsection. Oh. She's going for that. Oh, wow, what a suplex. My God. Riley's power. I, I can't, yeah. I can't believe how strong the women in this match are. Oh, wait, look at that. Bones are just snatch her up into a, snatch her right up into they a. They call her the master of the suplex. For right. Nothing. Clean and jerk and threw her right into that northern light. Everyone is down. God, this has been amazing. This is only the second match. Yeah. I, the ladies are tearing the house down. It's only match I number can two. I can only imagine how they're feeling right now. Four women huggling together and sort of just trying to gain their energy back. Oh, uh -oh. chop. Oh, chop. Doing a little merry-go-round here. Oh, chop. Oh. Everybody gets a little bit. No, it's a chop-chop version of a duck-duck-goose. Yeah. yeah. That works. Oh. oh. Forum after forum. Just like the match started, Riley and Damaris in control. Yeah, we're going full circle right now. Riley trying to power Bonesaw up there. God, but everyone must be exhausted right now. They're pulling everything that they've got. Oh, wait, got. wait. Bonesaw's trying to reverse here. Oh, boy. Oh, power bomb. <laughs> Oh, look, Christina matching oh. it. Oh, no. Ref all over the place trying to get the count. Just realized who else is exhausted, the ref. Yeah. Oh, we are back to Courageous and Bonesaw. giving it all she has. But you gotta believe Bonesaw just ate that. Oh my goodness, what a Bonesaw form. giving it right back times three. She almost knocked her clean off the ring. She caught her right there. Those oh, Euros. are deadly. What's she trying to do here? Trying to work her way down. Might be smart. Oh, wait, no, go behind. Christina might be in trouble looking for that arm bar. Oh, she's got go the cross face. Position. She's got go the cross face. face. Is she oh. going to tap? Is she going to tap? Oh, my God. Christina fighting, trying she to claw. Really the ropes? She's her trying her to crawl all the way to the ropes. Bone side, the, the hold has been broken. Uh. Wow. The resilience of Christina Marie there. Bonesaw does not look happy. I mean, I can't remember the last time she did, to be fair. What, what the hell is Mr. Martinez doing out here? What the hell is he doing out here? What is going on? Not again. Why are you out here? Did he hand Christina Marie something? Whoa, whoa, Wait, whoa. Do you see she's that? got nuts! Rev! Rev! There are brass nuts. She's got nuts! Oh my 
my God! What the hell? What the hell? Serious right now? I don't understand this. You know, Christina didn't even need that. Christina Marie too? Are you kidding me? Back from break, Masha Slamovich has got to be, without a shadow of a doubt, the hottest wrestler on the planet right now. Killing it everywhere. Going to be in Germany. Just came back from Russia. Had a stint in Japan. Killing it on impact. Just the best right now. And not to mention, I mean, let's face it, the coach yep. of coach. the fallout? I mean. Oh, wow. But we Ooh. cannot discount she is Scott. She is Jonathan Gresham's star pupil. And when you talk about him, you're talking about arguably the best technical wrestler on the planet right now. Absolutely. And again, this is going to be my first time see, seeing Gia Scott in action. So I'm excited to see what she brings. Go behind. She's got that hammer lock. Look at the reach behind. Oh, switches. Now in control with that arm ringer. Oh, look at that. Into an arm drag. Another one. Deep arm drags. Oh, drop Beautiful kick. Beautiful drop kick. And that's how you make a statement. Look at that. Oh, oh. face wash. Oh, man, I thought she had her there. You know what? That is super smart of Gia Scott. She knows that Masha is super tough, and she wants to end this really fast. Oh, brutal forearms. Irish whip, reversed. Oh, oh, oh trips her. Oh. Look at that. Masha showing how brutal she is. Oh, what a kick to the chest. Oh, that's Stepping right. on the hair. Look at that. Oh. Oh, a clubbing forearm right to the forehead. Oh, my Look at that. Oh, <laughs> two hands to the back. Awesome. But you know what? The people awesome. love it. Yeah, they do. Awesome. Gia's got not so much. I can't believe it. Gia's the underdog, but like I said, training with who she trains with, you cannot count her out. Absolutely not. Oh, wow. Right to the chest. Look at this. Oh, God, snap. Flex. Homage to Bret Hart there. Only a two. You gotta love it. Mosh is the only person on the planet who talks junk in Russian. <laughs> oh, a headbutt. Oh! Oh! Done. I felt that. I felt it. Yeah. I think she hit the no. front of her spine. Oh! Oh, gosh. Yeah, but I think it went to the back of it. Yeah. Oh, God, not again. No. Nope. Whip to the corner. Oh. Masha, stop oh. talking. Tra Ooh. Roll it. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Sunset flip. Oh, my goodness. Masha's so fast. Masha decidedly has this crowd. Oh. Oh, no. oh my good! Another headbutt. Yeah, this crowd still rallying. Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah. The crowd's starting to turn around here. Ducks under. No. Wow! Massive oh, crossbody. Oh, almost got her there. Drop kick. 
Look at Gia go. Gia comes back alive. Right for that arm. Oh, she's fired up. She's got Masha on her shoulders. Oh, beautiful. Samoan drop. Big kick out by Masha. Gia not only showing her skill, but her power. Oh, that moment drop is brutal. You got to think, though. She's got poise. The, the yeah. match was one-sided. Now she's fighting back. She's winning the crowd back. There we go. Oh, wow. What a close line. Oh, we got another one. Ducks under. Oh. Oh. You wow. Go for the cover. Oh. Almost won it there. I thought you had that, honestly. <laughs> Gia staying on Masha, wanting to capitalize on this momentum. Oh, she's going for that eat the feet. Nope. Stab oh. German. Beautiful. Oh, that almost bridge. had her. Oh, chef's kiss. Ducks under. Oh, goes, go behind. Oh, God! Returns the favor with her own! Spear! Spear! That's it! We got a winner! Oh, my God! Two and 99! Oh! That's as close that? as you get! This is awesome! Yeah, it is! This is awesome! What a match! Gia getting Masha back on her shoulders. Oh, Masha wiggled out. Oh, rebounds. No. Nope. Ducks under. Oh! Huge kick to the face. Oh, she's going for it. No, reversal. Oh, picks her up. Slide on the pine. Oh! Wow! Gia in shock right now. We're all in shock. I thought she had that. This is a hell of a match. Oh, there's that roundhouse kick again. Oh, she's going for it. Oh, oh that's it. From Russia with love. That's Vidania. Yes. About I'm really excited. I'm really this. excited about this too. I'm really excited about this. You have a sniper in, in submission style. You have the deadliest kicks in the game. And then you have two of the most rambunctious, fun loving, and just plain old joyful Let's women on the other powerful. side. Yeah, you're super powerful. And thick and juicy versus Team Deadly. This is crazy contrast of styles. A wonderful match. I cannot wait. Also, can we please give it up for Miss Faye Jackson? Oh, Faye, you know, Faye retired from the ring, but her presence is felt every single show. And I can't believe she's here. I am so honored. Feeling each other out. The Queen Bee and this Jordan is, Blair. This is. And you know what? Oh, wow. Yes. That's how I like my steaks. Oh, wow. What a takedown by Jordan Blade. You know, this is 
Brooks' first match back since her knee injury. Yes, and she yes. told me she is feeling so good. She's so excited to be here, especially with her with her girl, Willow Nightingale. Yes. Oh, there's that power from Queen B. She has not missed a beat. No. Oh. oh. The crowd, that was great. I'm sorry, I popped. <laughs> Someone in the crowd just yelled, she's a Brook House. That's <laughs> incredible. <laughs> Jordan Blade. Ducks uh -huh. under. Oh, oh, wow. The power, like the nothing. strength. Oh. Now that was not only effective, it was smart. She threw her into her own corner. That's right. Cutting the ring off. Uh-oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wow, what a forearm. Here we go, there Willow. Back to Willow. If anybody, if anybody can match how hot Masha Slamovich is, it's Willow Nightingale. Oh, stereo hip thrust. Feeling juicy. Denai's in the ring. Going for Janai. Suplex. Oh, oh. turn those hips, baby! And another go. one! We go for it! Three amigos! Or in this, three amigas! Oh! Jumping hip thrust to the midsection. Really nice backbreaker there. Willow Nightingale all over Janai Kai. Oh! Using her fundamentals. Oh! First to roll to the cross body. I would be doing no justice if I didn't mention the match Janai Kai just had with Mia Yim at ETU. You talk about tearing the house down. It could be what's affecting her now because she's not been in control whatsoever. I mean, yeah, that definitely plays a part in it. Girls also not discount no. thinking juicy. Got her again. Uh -oh, oh, wait, no, Janai. Oh, my goodness. Here and we that's go. That's what Janai needed. You talk about Harvard, Yale. Princeton, those are Ivy League educated feet for Janai Kai. Yeah, she's skilled in Muay Thai, kickboxing, black belt in Taekwondo. I mean, the oh. list goes on and on. And I think Queen oh. B just fell. Oh. That sounds like a car wreck. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, wow! Palm strike! Oh, God. Oh! Oh! Uh -oh. She went after that knee. She went after she that knee. Oh, my See? goodness. Oh! Wow! No! Brooke is not having it! Fighting. Oh, my. Those, those, those hands. Rated E for everyone. <laughs> those hands are just as deadly. Oh, tonight talking a lot about Oh my gosh. The floor, she gives her another palm strike. Oh. 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 Ducks again. Brooke can't catch her. Janai's too fast. And a tag into Jordan. Uh -oh. oh my goodness. Mark of Team Deadly really showing off right now. I, I think that momentary lapse is what allowed Brooke to kick out. Absolutely. The ref had to pause and readjust. Oh. Oh, no, 
way. Oh. He's going for a German. Oh, wow. That's how you do it. Look at, oh, oh, that's it. That's it. She's going to choke her out. Brooke reaching for the rope. Oh, she's got it. Yeah, Brooke was in a lot of trouble right there. Ooh, a little taunting to Willow. Three of these ladies making their AEW debuts just this year. Yes, Jordan Blade and Brooke Valentine making their Battle Club Pro debuts tonight. Brooke is not letting up, and I She's love it. Oh, wow! What a clothesline! Oh, she went for that massive leg drop and missed. Oh, oh, uh, ankle lock. oh my goodness. We just turn her all over. Repositioning her. That is so smart by Jordan Blade. They don't call her the ankle breaker for nothing. Look at her, she's trying to. Needs to watch out. Oh! She turned the table! She turned the table! Puro reverse card. Right on to Jordan. Jordan. Oh, no. Jordan's so oh no, she's got the arm bar! Jordan's Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu training is really coming. Oh, look, look, look. Brooke being smart, just pressing those shoulders down. And I with the tag. Oh, sweeps that leg right from under her. Oh, and it's oh. oh, my. I don't know if you guys can hear it. But it sounds like a baseball bat is hitting Brooke Valentine every time Janai kicks her. Crowd is still behind Brooke here. Look at the fury here. Oh my oh. goodness. Oh! Picks that ankle! Nice. Got her up. Ow! Brooke with that fall forward slam. Both ladies really need to make a tag here. There's Willow's in! Willow. Jordan's in! And here we go. Ducks under. Oh! Smart. Oh. Take it out tonight. Oh! Oh! Forearm! Oh! oh. Here comes Janai! Oh. Ref needs to do something here. Janai cutting her off! There's that cartwheel! Ducks oh. under! That cartwheel Push is forward! Pounce! Take the straps down, baby! Oh! oh. Spine Buster! Back and forth this match goes. Looking oh. for Samoa, no. Oh gosh, she just nailed that Achilles causing her to drop. Oh. oh. Huge kick to the back, Willow Nightingale. Oh, 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 here we go. Oh. Oh, my goodness. This might be it. Oh, Brooke. A split second longer. The match would have been over. Brooke stayed there just in the nick of time. Nick and Juicy. Nick and Juicy. I swear, I've never seen kicks that fast in my life. She is so, it's ridiculous. Oh, oh no, see, no! Stereo Cannonball! Oh, Willow's fired up. Oh, wow! Spear! Cut her in half! That's it!
Introducing first from Laredo, Texas, he is the sweet Hispanic boy, Antonio San Francisco. Intergender contest ready here at Hurricane Pro Wrestling for that very championship. The Hurricane Pro Cruiserweight title. The defending champion Miranda Alizé, challenger Antonio San Francisco, ASF. We're live here on Title Match Network for Hurricane Pro Wrestling. There's the bell and here we go. For 572 days, Miranda Alizé has been the reigning Hurricane Pro Cruiserweight champion. She's fought all comers. We're going for the first time here at Hurricane Pro Wrestling against the sweet Hispanic boy, Antonio San Francisco. We're all up here, on one count only. Miranda Alizé, I like to call her the intergender general, has been defending that Cruiserweight Championship against all challengers, male or female. And as is the standard, I don't know if it's about her pedigree, her, her size, demeanor. Miranda seems to always be looking up at her opponent, always outsized, outmatched in that respect. Sometimes I think people underestimate the challenge that Miranda Alizé brings, but she's been champion for almost 600 days for a reason, one of the absolute best competitors in all of professional wrestling. And Antonio San Francisco, Getting the better on that exchange. The Lucha Batty, Miranda Alizé, going to bring that Lucha Libre style. She's going to beat you in so many different ways. Antonio San Francisco, he's still very evenly matched, both in height, size, and weight. Expect a lot of high-flying maneuvers in this Cruiserweight Championship match, as is the norm for this championship. Head Scissors takes the champion, Miranda, all the way to the outside. And ASF. Feeling it. Antonio going up. That was going through the rope, but no. Nice show of athleticism showing off. He can take Miranda out whenever he thinks. Goes the outside, Miranda. Goes back in to meet her, Miranda. Gets caught, but in the head scissors of her own. Now again, rolling up ASF. Another pin attempt. And again, only two count this time. Here's another. Again, two count. Lucha Batty, nice arm drag. That's why they call her superstar Miranda Alizé, flipping ASF inside out, sending it back to the outside. A baseball slide from Miranda Alizé. Miranda Alizé, a former Hurricane Pro women's champion. Here defending the Hurricane Pro Cruiserweight Championship. Cover again. Hooks the far leg. The dominant all over the scene. Saw in the Ring of Honor Women's Championship Tournament. Great contest against Impact's Deanna Perrazzo at No Surrender this year. But you gotta believe that she's happy to be back here for the first time in Ford Park. Here in Beaumont, Texas with Hurricane Pro. Coming back to the outside, bringing the fight to Antonio San Francisco. Trying to create some separation between her and him and Miranda. And Miranda biting the fingers of Antonio on the outside here, referee. Trying to get them back in the ring. Miranda really bringing the fight here tonight. And Hurricane Pro's return to Ford Park. Double palm chop right to the chest. Six, 
God, going for it again. This time Antonio moved out of the way. And the Flocito rolling Miranda back in the middle of the ring and then just sends Miranda right back out. Breaking up the referee's count. He knows he can't win the Cruiserweight Championship on the outside. Hate for this end in a count out. Referee's count started over again. These two coming to blows back and forth on the outside. ASF throws Miranda right into the barricade. Antonio San Francisco has become a professional wrestling meme machine blowing up all over wrestling with unicorns all over the internet is ASF with high flying maneuver just like that one. Connects with Miranda cover. Put all the pressure, all of his body weight on top of Miranda still able to get that shoulder up. I had the privilege of being able to watch ASF really steal WrestleMania weekend wrestling all over Texas that weekend was ASF every, every year. It seems like on the independent scene during Mania weekend, there's a few names that really stand out as people that steal the weekend. And ASF is definitely one of those superstars. Connects to Miranda again. Here's a cover. Even Chris Jericho named ASF his favorite wrestler of that weekend. A lot of momentum, a lot of upside on this young upstart in Antonio San Francisco. And he's looking to ride that wave of momentum all the way into a championship victory here. Trying to capture that Cruiserweight title, but he's gonna might lose if he keeps that foot. He almost, almost got disqualified there. Referees count all the way up to four. He's got that foot right under the throat of Miranda. Not sure if that was a choke or not. Referee giving a lot of leeway with so much on the line. The Cruiserweight title. One of the most coveted championships at Hurricane Pro. Miranda going up. Thought Antonio caught her, but got turned inside out. Head scissors. Hurricane Rana for Miranda. Jumping back elbow from ASF. Another quick cover. Trying to keep on the pressure here. On the champion does the challenge. ASF, a very popular superstar here in Texas wrestling. Oh, got caught, caught by Miranda. Gotta believe it's unusual for him to be hearing these jeers from the crowd, but that's how much these people love Miranda Alizé. Here's another cover. These fans are solidly behind Miranda Alizé. One of the top superstars, not just women superstars, but top wrestlers in general here at Hurricane Pro Wrestling. She's earned the respect of our faithful here who come out every single time Hurricane Pro Live the Title Match Network. ASF got her up and Miranda able to get out of it. Connects, maintains wrist control here. Now reversal here, drives that knee right, God, right into the face of ASF and now both competitors are down. Cruiserweight title on the line. Can Miranda Alizé continue this awesome run? Can she go from day 572 into 573 as Hurricane Pro Cruiserweight Champion? The crowd is behind the Lucha Batty. Can she Kick it into next gear, find that second win. Bring that fire that we know the Lucha Batty is known for. Strike for strike, blow for blow, these two are going. Here's, and that's what I'm talking about, that's that fire from Miranda. Ugh. ASF meets her with a stiff elbow right to the face and back and forth return fire from Miranda Alizé. Trying to move the referee out of the corner. ASF in position. The running momentum. Yeah. 
Basement drop kick from Miranda. Knocks ASF Loopy. Double underhook suplex. Here's another cover from Miranda. Got only a two count. Got a great offensive flurry from Miranda. Still only a two count from the challenger ASF. Again, these two so evenly matched. He's going back and forth here. Oh. Falls up with that deep drop kick. Cover here. Two count, two count only, man. ASF did everything right, but technical on that cover, still only got a two count. Getting very frustrated here now. Taking it up into another level, going to the driver. Nope, Miranda slips out. Again, another head scissors turns ASF inside out, almost landed on spiking him on his head. Another two count, two count only. A disappointment on Miranda's face, you really believe that was it. This Cruiserweight Championship match will continue though. Again, again, Miranda kicks up, but ASF saying it's over. He's going up top. He's gonna look for that 450 splash. If he connects, we're gonna have a new Cruiserweight Champion. No, goes for the frog splash. Miranda moves out of the way. Cutter. And there's the Wizzy. That's it. intergender rules as you see from Oklahoma, Danny B. Going one on one with the leader of change, Chris Carter. There's the bell and here we go. We're live on Title Match Network. The very best in professional wrestling here at Hurricane Pro. Live here in Beaumont, Texas at Ford Park, Texas. Rich with wrestling tradition. There's some that think that the business here needs to change, that wrestling needs to change for the better. And a man that considers himself the leader of change is that man right there, Chris Carter. Showing a nice show of respect to Danny B to start this contest, was looking not to, wanting to let go of the hand and a very disrespectful kiss of the hand. As you often see between a lot of the male superstars in these intergender contests. And Danny B not too happy about it. Danny B, the very first African-American women's champion in Oklahoma City history. A very proud Oklahoman. And now Chris Carter asking for a kiss on the cheek. I guess he didn't get the hint from the game. But Danny B looking for a big hand, but maybe it was just Chris Carter baiting Danny B, trying to get that psychological advantage, but then again grabbing the hand here, down on one knee. Chris Carter flipping Danny B inside out. And look at that athleticism lands right on his feet. Chris Carter's been very popular on the internet lately. An internet sensation 
One of the hottest free agents in all professional wrestling. Seeing a lot on Game Changer Wrestling. Making his, I believe, first appearance here at Hurricane Pro Wrestling is Danny B. Trying to spoil the party of Chris Carter, taking him down again and again. And it's a big power slam from Danny B. Maybe Chris Carter needs to stop underestimating. Danny B grabbing the ropes, making sure the referee backs her up. What's nothing to do with the Oklahoma native. Now wait a minute. Referee never saw Chris Carter poking the eye of Danny B just to get that leverage advantage. Danny B has been making waves for women of wrestling, wow. Very excited to have her back here at Hurricane Pro Wrestling. Some of the very best women's wrestlers come through right at our doors here at Hurricane Pro Wrestling. What would it mean for her to get a victory here over Chris Carter? She tries to leverage out of it. Nice leg vice from Danny B. Chris Carter trying to leverage out of it. Trying to finesse land on his feet. It didn't exactly go the way he wanted to. And Danny B sweeping out of it and hits a senton. And Danny B up to the middle rope. Not sure what she's thinking about here. Chris Carter caught her though. God! Pulls the leg and slams her right down in the canvas. Standing shooting star press from Chris Carter. Cover got a one count only, one count only, but you can see the on the face of Danny B, she's hurting there. Took her eye off the prize, not sure what she was setting up there for. Don't believe it was the Thunderstruck DDT, that finishing maneuver she likes to use. If she connects with that Thunderstruck DDT, it'll be all over. But she's got to get out of the crosshairs of Chris Carter here, who's again showing that brash attitude. Now a blatant choke right in front of the referee here. Referees count all the way up to three. Let's go on four. Chris Carter so talented, but sometimes lets that talent go to his head. He's draping the throat over the middle rope of Danny B again. Really pushing the envelope here with the referee. And he'd be throwing the outside. The leader of change, Chris Carter. I'm not sure how much he's going to change the opinions of the fans here of Danny B. Too much posturing, too much gesturing. Now a return fire from Danny B. Big chop right to the chest. Chris Carter again cuts her off. Throws her right back in the ring. And again, the athleticism on display from Chris Carter connects with that sick kick. Two count only. One of the most athletic competitors in all professional wrestling today, Chris Carter. Team we putting that on display here. And here comes Danny B firing back. God, turning Carter inside out. Huge clothesline from Danny B. Oh, Carter going for that cutter, but Danny B caught him. Oh my God, folding up Carter. Landed right in the back of the neck. Stunned, connects with the knee, the side of the head. Is that enough here? Two count only 
for Danny B. Danny B with so much upside. Training of the reality of wrestling with Booker T. Looking to make a big splash here at Hurricane Pro Wrestling. And now going to the top rope, maybe looking to literally connect with a splash onto Chris Carter. This time connects, but wait, Carter rolled through. Kind of look the strength of Carter. The leverage out of that. Oh my God. Dropping Danny B face first. Lacks the days will cover hooks in their leg. And Honestly, not surprisingly, Danny be able to get the shoulder up. That attitude caused Carter. He could have definitely gotten the win there if he put a little more leverage over the chest of Danny B. See his crowd getting behind Danny B as Carter in his frustration. Trying to put position Danny B in the drop zones. Chris Carter goes up top where he feels most comfortable. The leader of change is most comfortable high flying up. Sergio with me for 450, flips out of it, lands on his feet again. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Canadian destroyer from Danny B. Oh my God. DDT connects, turns Chris Carter inside out. I don't think Chris Carter knows where he's at. Is that enough? That's it! An impressive victory for Danny B here at Hurricane Pro Wrestling. Introducing first, from our nation's capital in Washington, D.C., she is the money, Renee Michelle. the bells we get set for this special ladies night out presentation here at hurricane pro wrestling title match network the money renee michelle going one-on-one -on -one with the warrioress cc chanel thank you for joining us i'm sammy kiss i'll be calling all the action here tonight it's not the first matchup between these two they had a tag team match at hurricane pro's last event where cc chanel teamed up with heather monroe to take on the vipress and renee michelle this is their first one-on-one -on -one meeting. It should be a great contest here tonight. The warrior, CC Chanel, the corner striker. Gotta believe that Renee Michelle's gotta stay out of that corner because that is really the game plan of CC Chanel. She's a clean fighter. She's not gonna take any shortcuts here, but if she's able to back up Renee Michelle, it might be all over quickly. Don't count out Renee Michelle. She does have a background in MMA. She's been training since she was four years old. She's very deceptively strong in the area of MMA. Jessica Rabbit meets Sherry Martel is how she's described herself before. And you see that wrist lock from Renee Michelle. Nice change, start this contest out here for Ladies Night Out. The best women's division action you'll find is right here on Title Match Network, is Renee Michelle taking CC Chanel down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got a one count there. 
CC in control here. Renee Michelson's return to Hurricane Pro Wrestling has had a great record and looks to build momentum towards another shot at the Hurricane Pro Women's Championship. We'll see who wins out between Heather Monroe and Lady Frost. As Renee Michelle gets that bottom rope and now shouting, demanding. The referee calls separation. See she now again showing respect, letting go of the hold, no problem. Now Renee Michelle telling the referee that she grabbed the hair. That's that lack of respect that Renee Michelle is known to show for her opponents. But CC trying to not let that be a big deal, showing respect here with hands stretched out. Have a nice clean contest. But Renee wants nothing to do with it. Swift kick to the solar plexus and now drops CC down. Yes, Chanel always wants to have a clean fight where Renee Michelle wants to win at any means necessary. And if you look at that, Renee Michelle arguing that that's what CC Chanel did earlier, grabbing the hair and then draping the throat across that middle rope. Renee Michelle taking any corner she can take. Bringing the Warrior S. Now whipping into the opposite corner, but Chanel cuts it off. Open oh, and sunset flip. Here's the cover. And only got a two count. And as the back roll up goes for cover again. Oh. Shoulders might not have been up there, but now CC going again, trying to small package, rolls her up again. Inside cradle. Oh! And there's a code breaker, drops down CC just like that. Now Renee Michelle dropping. Warrior's face again and again in those turnbuckles from the top to the bottom. And now screaming again in the referee's face. Let her do her work. And he's got to get Chanel out of those ropes. Back at the center of the ring. Going to push her up for a suplex. Snap suplex, beautifully done by the beautiful Renee Michelle. Got a one count. And there's a chin lock. Renee Michelle taking CeCe Chanel to task. It was Heather Monroe and CeCe Chanel who got the victory in that last contest against Vipers and Renee Michelle. You know, Renee wants to return the favor, get a big win here tonight at Hurricane Pro for Ladies Night Out. Oh, and CeCe dropping Renee down. And now Renee in that corner. I told you about CeCe now when she's got someone in the corner. That is her game. This is her wheelhouse, and this is not good for Renee Michelle. And so Five Count had to create some separation there, or she would have been disqualified. But Renee Michelle, no pun intended, is on the ropes. That boxer background. CC Chanel takes Renee down. We got a two count. CC confirming with the referee that was only two counts. Has to keep that momentum going. Stay on offense. Gets the ropes for momentum. Renee cuts her off and a big boot right to the face from Renee Michelle. And now the money almost flustered there from that offense from CeCe before. 
Now raining those forearms on the face. Again getting in the referee's face. Hey, Michelle Irish whip. And Chanel drops the knee on Renee. Takedown again. Just like that, Chanel back in control. Oh, and there's that big spinning kick from the money. Goes for the cover. That is it. Introducing first from Des Moines, Iowa. She is the Killer Bay, Heather Monroe. championship women's contest. There you see the title, the Hurricane Pro Women's Championship on the line. The challenger, Heather Monroe, the champion, Lady Frost, one-on-one -on -one in this last woman standing matchup. No pinfalls, no, no submissions. The match will only end after one of these two women cannot answer the count of 10. This is the third contest between these two. A rematch from Ladies Night Out over WrestleMania weekend, where these two tore into each other. Their second matchup here at Hurricane Pro Wrestling saw Lady Frost defeat Heather Monroe to become the new Hurricane Pro Women's Champion. And then in an online poll for our Hurricane Pro fans, they voted for this stipulation on the third and final contest, the rubber match here tonight. Being the last woman standing, we're gonna find out who the better woman is here tonight. The Hurricane Pro Women's Championship has almost become synonymous with Heather Monroe, who was champion for a record 645 days before being unseated by the new champion, Lady Frost. Heather Monroe become a two-time women's champion. If so, she's gonna have to do a lot of hard work to keep Lady Frost down for the count of 10. These two are gonna have to go to places they've never been before. The referee there here signed Saeed Abamusa for this contest. Got his Lady Frost looking to suplex Heather Monroe in the apron of the ring. The referee here only to count to 10. No time limit on this contest. We're gonna go, we'll be here all night long if we have to. These women are gonna have to beat the hell out of each other. All for that Hurricane Pro Women's Championship. Lady Frost driving Monroe's face right in that side apron. Again, no count out here on the outside. We've had a crazy night here already at Hurricane Pro Wrestling. Chelsea Green and Miranda Alizé. Renee Michelle versus Cece Chanel. The best women's division action is here, right here on Title Match Network. God! And Heather Monroe throwing the champion Lady Frost right into that ring step. And now Heather Monroe going the backstage area. Who knows what's gonna happen in this contest, I mean. Oh, that's not good, I mean. Heather Monroe bringing her own barricade to ringside. This is, I do not like this. 
Kevin Ruff setting it up parallel to the ring. Monroe draping that, that barricade on the side of the ring. It's so strange to consider Heather Monroe the challenger in this situation. Again, it's become synonymous with that championship. Lady Frost trying to block. Oh! Frost hip tossing Monroe right onto that barricade. And now the referee begins his count. Three. Four. Monroe's got to get to her feet. And she does. This contest will continue. And now Lady Frost throwing Monroe into the barricade at ringside. That one's doing its job. And thank God it's there because these two are just battering each other in the rings, keeping them separated from the fans at ringside. This match can go anywhere and everywhere. They'll fight all over the entire Ford Park Arena. Cameraman trying to follow suit, trying to keep up with the action. These two ladies going all over the place. Now over by our, so they're going over towards our concession area, but now Frost bringing the challenger Monroe back to ringside. Lady Frost, our new champion here at Hurricane Pro, looks the best in this rubber match against Heather Monroe. Now the referees count again, Monroe down. She's back up. What is Lady Frost gonna have to do to keep the former women's champion down? Monroe just swinging Lady Frost in that barricaded ringside. And now it's Frost who's down. Referee's kind of already up to five. Now six. Maybe it might. And Monroe now whipping Lady Frost with that signature killer Bay fan. Killer Bay showing some killer instinct here tonight. Now taking that hardware that she brought to ringside, which backfired on her earlier. Now going under the ring for something. And what is what is that? Whatever it is, looks like Moreau's gonna use it as a weapon. It's a plastic horse. Attacking Lady Frost with it. You never know what's gonna be found underneath the Hurricane Pro Wrestling ring, I guess. That's that big kick to the back. Heather Monroe going for a weapon under the ring. Not exactly what I think she hoped to find there. These two went finally in the ring. Creating some semblance of a normal matchup. There's a cartwheel and a springboard. Springing splash in the corner from Monroe. Now Monroe again going under the ring looking for a, some kind of weapon. No disqualifications in this matchup. Finds a chair. There's another chair. I guess Monroe didn't like that one. Yeah, that one's better, I guess. Heather Monroe really picky about her hardware. Uh, this, this is not good. I don't like this at all.
swing and a miss on the first one. Second one connects. Monroe hitting Frost in places we won't mention here on Title Match Network. And now Monroe draping a chair in front of Frost is it's not good. Oh, and Frost just throws that chair right in the face of Monroe. Frost still reeling from that attack before. But Frost is up, Monroe is down. And Monroe is up. This match continues. Last woman standing for the Hurricane Pro Women's Championship. Now both women have a chair. Both thought better of it defending themselves. Now both women are down. Referee's count is up to four. Both women are have to get up. Hurricane Pro Women's Championship is on the line. Last woman standing. Both women back up at the same time. And now a flurry of strikes in the middle of the ring. Lady Frost, the Hurricane Pro Women's Champion. Head of the Monroe, the challenger. Monroe backing Frost up in the corner. This is the rubber match between these two ladies. We're gonna find out who the better woman really is. That cartwheel shotgun drop kick that Frosted mini feats from Lady Frost. Now Frost setting a chair up in the corner. Driving Monroe's face right in that chair, setting her up. Unique offense as a rule in these contests. Oh! Snowball fight in the corner with the use of the chair. God, after that, Sol Monroe has not moved. Referee's count's already up to seven. This might be it. Oh, but Monroe slides out of the ring and just by happenstance, her feet hit the ground. That's enough to break the count. This match continues, but Monroe is out of it. And now Frost looking for something under the ring. Oh my God. Are those Legos? Lady Frost has brought some Legos, pour them all out in the ring. And then Heather Moreau just pulled out the kitchen sink. You know, I'm used to saying these ladies will throw everything at each other except the kitchen sink, but Heather Monroe. Oh, this is uh oh, this is not good. Lady Frost trying to pile drive Heather Monroe. Monroe breaks out of it and drops her face down. One, two, three, four, five. Monroe up to her feet. The champion is still down though. Are we going to have a new champion here? No, Frost up to her feet at nine. Oh, and a big kick from Frost. Back and forth we go. These two have thrown everything at each other. Frost looking for the temperature drop. This is how she won the championship. Beautiful moonsault. The temperature drop connects, but both women again are down. Frost barely up to her feet. The 
referee's count is up to eight. Oh, in the last possible second, Monroe using the ropes to stand up. These women have thrown everything at each other, including the kitchen sink. Chairs and barricades at ringside. The ring is filled with Legos. There's a kick from Monroe. And now Monroe stacking the chairs up at ringside and demanding the referee start her count. Champion is down. Moreau is getting all the chairs she can find from under the ring and piling up in the ring. I mean, this might be over if Frost can't, can't get up, but she's up at eight. And now Monroe. The Killer Bay looking to put an end to this once and for all. Bad Fichinoku driver on a pile of chairs in the ring. That's got to be it. Lady Frost has not moved when Monroe is still down as well. She took a brunt of those chairs as well with that maneuver. The Bad Fichinoku driver is how Monroe has put away many of her opponents. But no, Frost up again! Oh! Samoan drop on the Legos! And now Frost piling chairs on top of Monroe! And she's going up top again! Lady Frost is up top. Temperature drop! <laughs> Referee's count is up to five. The champion Frost is up. The challenger is still down. That's it! Here is your winner, and still Hurricane Pro Women's Champion, Lady Frost. My God, what a matchup!